Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Taft. This podcast is the full show from today's episode of Undisputed from start to finish. We've got a busy slate, so skip Shannon. Let's get to it. Welcome to Undisputed. We are live from Los Angeles. I'm Jenny Taft here with Skip Bayless, Shannon well, Sharp. Good morning. Well, morning. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Well, how are you? Hey, Skip, how you doing this morning, Skip? You know, a little bird told me that somebody prepped for today's show by studying his dating app. But I, 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 I don't know. That's I was told that, but I don't know if it's true or not. Skip, is, is that possible? And it obviously wasn't me. No. Somebody. It was somebody. So now, it yesterday, been, I don't yesterday know. Yesterday you tried to be, you know, skip sharp. Yeah. Uh-huh. Today you skip I, six I, nine. I envy you. Stop dry I snitching. Envy you. <laughs> I, you. You're my idol. I'm over you're here. my hero. It wasn't me. Yeah. So. All right, Shannon. Here. You're on your own today. We have hey. a packed show today. <laughs> I think we got to get to it. No more dating apps up. Is Aaron Rodgers on the decline? And will the Patriots go undefeated this season? But first, who is the best quarterback in the league right now? According to Pro Football Focus, Tom Brady is the highest rated quarterback this season. Coming in, number two is Dak Prescott, who was initially a third tier quarterback to start the season by these same rankings. Remember that. Dak is followed by Carson Wentz at number three, Russell Wilson at four, Deshaun Watson at five, and reigning MVP Patrick Mahomes came in at six. What? Shannon. Mm-hmm. Six? Yeah. Did, was that a typo? No. Misprint? Number six. Six? So this Shannon. is the question, Shannon. Did they get this right? Hell no. Hell no. And you know, once Patrick Mahomes was not at number one, nothing else even mattered to me. Mm. I don't care who was at two, three, four, five, <laughs> seven, ten, twelve, thirteen. It didn't mm. matter. Mm. Because this is some bull jive, Skip Bayless, and you know it. I don't I'm, know it. I'm trying to figure out how can Patrick Mahomes have a higher completion percentage, a higher QBR, higher yards per attempt, more big plays, more touchdowns. Mm. How mm. the same record, mm. and he's rated, well, we based it on the potential. He has some throws that could have been intercepted. Now, now, did the ball get intercepted? It's a simple yes or no. Mm. Skip sports is really about black and white. If mm. you play basketball, did the ball go in the hoop? Yep. Yes or no? Mm. Well, what if he'd have missed that shot? But he didn't miss. Mm. Oh, this could have been picked off. All I know is this. Patrick Mahomes has zero interceptions. Mm. There's no way. And it's almost like this. And sometimes I really hate even talking about Tom Brady because if you critique Tom Brady, it always goes back. He got six Super Bowls. We're not talking about that. No, nope, You can't not. take those six Super Bowls away. No, nope. We're talking about the first three games of the regular season. And Skip Bennett said he's a big eye test guy. Mm. What do your eyes tell you? No one, even New England Patriots fans, will honestly say Tom Brady is playing better football than Patrick Mahomes. I AKA, don't speak for New England fans. No, Skip, there, there's no way. Stop no. it. There's no way. Because you love QBR. Mm-hmm. Skip says QBR is a stat that measures 0 for 100, and it takes in running under yep. accountability. Who leads the league? Dak leads Thank the league. Thank you. Go ahead. But Game over. But Dak is not number one. I'm talking no. about I got, I got, a, I got no. to see Skip for me. Once my homeboy wasn't number one, I blacked out. I was like, oh. You blacked yeah, out? Yeah, I blacked out. You're done. Yeah, oh, you're taking this way too serious. Yeah, no, I ain't taking it too serious. <laughs> you don't need to it, black still, out. Patrick Mahomes has done something in his third year that no other quarterback has ever done. Three straight games in which he threw for 350 plus, three touchdowns, mm-hmm. and zero interceptions. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about to start the season. I'm talking about at any point in time during a season. Mm-hmm. That's what he's doing. He has more plays of 20 yards or more than anybody in the NFL. Okay. He has more touchdowns Mm. than anybody. He's 200 yards clear Mm. of the next closest in passing yards. Mm. And he's six based on the potential Mm. that he might turn the ball over because he got reckless. Mm. All I want to know, Skip, that when he threw the ball, did his guy catch it? Or did the other guy catch it? Mm. Because all I know is this. He has two guys in the top five in receiving yards. Mm. Nobody else can say that. Okay. So this is some bull. This is some bu- As a matter of fact, moving forward from this point on, I will not make reference mm. to PFF. Really? You, you got what? What are you going to call it? Pro football? I don't call it that because of bull jive. Pro football farce? I call it a bull jive. Yeah. Okay. You know bull jive is short for it. I, uh, unfortunately, I do. <laughs> I just heard a whole lot of it coming across the no, table. No, you right didn't. Me. I'm no, having you to, like, didn't. swim through no, all you of did. it. No, you yep. didn't. Mm. Okay, my turn. Go ahead. Before I unleash on everything you just said, allow me to ask all of us to just step back for a second 
and think about the perspective of this. Think about the, the fact that even though this is a small sample size, and even though the New England Patriots have played, we know they played the Dolphins and the Jets, even though those are division rivals for them. And no, no, don't forget okay. the Steelers. Well, I'm, okay, I'm just saying, but the Steelers, the, on, I still think they're credible on defense, but, but whatever. I'll give you that. Small sample size. And this survey starts off by yeah. underlining the fact small sample size. But still, given all that, given the fact that Tom Brady is 42 years of age, given the fact that people have written him off and sent him into the sunset, dating all the way back to that 2014 Monday night nightmare at Kansas City, 41 to 14. It didn't it start there where people were writing him off, so, trying to retire him. So, but given all that, well, what's happened in the interim, and I'm not going back into history, I'm just trying to keep this in perspective okay. for you. But Tom Brady has had since then four Super Bowl appearances and he's won no, 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 three no, of them. Yeah, okay, go, wait, 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 wait. I'm saying that happened since he started getting retired by his critics. And now this has happened. Albeit just three games in, he's ranked number one of 32 starting okay, quarterbacks because numbers. he's just been flawless. Yep. Oh, he's been flawless. flawless. There's been no negative plays. He, he hasn't thrown one ball that could have been intercepted. He hasn't fumbled one ball that should have been recovered by the opposition. He has been flawless. And what's the breakdown here? It's reminiscent of his elite play from 2015 to 2017. He's off to that kind of start. You, you have to accept that. You have to honor that, albeit early on, because I'm in awe of that. He's ranked number one, and you will not give him one ounce of credit, and I'm going to give him just a little bit of credit for his first three games. Now, let's move to your man, Patrick Mahomeboy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Tyler, Texas, Glenn... You, Georgia. I, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Don't You're worry from about Georgia. it. He's from Tyler, Texas. But yeah. He's your own boy. But here's the point. I told you going into this season, he's in danger of becoming a caricature of himself. He's like a globetrotter, if people remember the globetrotter. They do. Playing quarterback. Yes. He's yeah. like becoming the Meadowlark lemon of quarterbacks. And he's making defense to Washington Nash generals. Okay. okay. You could be right about that because on occasion, especially when he goes bombs away, that happens. But there are a lot of trick shots in his arsenal. There's a lot of no looks. I'm, I'm waiting for the behind the back between the legs. It may be coming. And, and it's, it's a little bit too much whipped cream for me because it's just a dangerous league to do that in. Because you're daring your opponents to get even with you at some point. We talked about Baker Mayfield. We're going to talk about him later in the yeah. show. Where if, if you keep swaggering the NFL to death, they'll swagger back at you, right? Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, what the reason they are downgrading him is this is the sentence right here. After ranking second at avoiding negative graded throws last season, Mahomes ranks just 19th in the same statistical category this season. Negatively graded throws are three that he threw that the opponents had their hands on, and it was more intended for the opponent than his receiver. That's a negatively graded throw. Were they picked? No. Okay, so what are we talking about? Okay, was it a throw that could have been intercepted that probably should have been intercepted? Yes, yes, and yes. You see, Skip. Yes, yes, skip, yes. But that's not okay, how he didn't do works. that. He was second in the league in lack of those plays but last skip, year. That's not how it works. Okay. I'm, that's not how it works. That's how they work. But I'm saying, you, you, and you factored in, he's 42, so they not use what I need to call EEOC because they're discriminating against Tom Brady because of his age. Mm. They don't factor that in there. No, they didn't say anything no. about no age. No. They play I'm just three saying. Three games into the season. Okay, but, but again, I'm just trying to keep Brady in perspective because you've tried to retire him no, for no, about no. three years. Yeah, I don't know anything about okay. age. I don't okay. know how old Patrick Mahomes is. I don't know how mm. old Dak is. All I, all I am okay. is that I've seen them all play this year. Three games. And the numbers, and my eyes tell me Patrick Mahomes has played that mm -hmm. position better okay. than all the other quarterbacks, yep. period. Okay, and yet it, it points out he still has the league-leading big-time throw percentage. <laughs> oh, okay, so spectacular plays, you got it. Negatively graded plays, I got it. And it's, but, but it, there's no, it's, but, it could become problematic down the road but Skip, here. okay, well, how about this here? Skip, okay, there's a bridge out. Mm-hmm. Can we wait till we cross that bridge? Can okay. we wait till we get to the bridge? Uh, is, you want us to cross something, but we're not even there yet. Is the bridge damaged? Could be. Can, I, Could be. I would like to get there. They is, might have, it, they might the, have the bridge repaired by the time I second. get there. Is there dynamite and the fuse has been lit under the bridge? They don't yes. Tell they don't tell yes, they don't tell the fuse is yeah. burning. All I'm saying is this. The guy has 10 yeah. touchdowns, zero interceptions. 
-hmm. Tom Brady has seven touchdowns, mm -hmm. zero interceptions. He's 300 yards, almost 300 yeah. yards clear okay. of Tom. But they're grading throws, and Tom's throws have been perfect, 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 perfect. He's number one. You got to give him some credit for that. Give him some credit, huh? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me see here. Oh, Tom Brady. Well, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Yeah. Give him some credit. When uh, my homeboy is almost two yards to throw more. Mm. So he's doing a lot of James White. My guy throwing the ball 40 and 50 yards down the field. When you're throwing the ball to James White and James Burkhead, of course you got to go mm. and get intercepted on swing passes. Your guy is down. the best at doing that, but that's not the totality of playing winning quarterback. Skip. Did you, did you see him throw the ball to Damian Williams? Did you mm -hmm. see the screen pass? Mm -hmm. Did you see the swing to Damian Williams uh, the week before out of the backfield? Mm -hmm. Skip, right now. Right now. Nobody is playing that position. This is not a, a, a knock on Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady has won six Super Bowls. He has four MVPs. He's been to all those. All I'm saying is in 2019, through the first three games, okay. nobody... Skip, that's, nobody is playing better than Pat Mahomes at the quarterback mm. position. So which quarterback would you rather have for the rest of the year? I'm taking Patrick Mahomes. I'm taking Tom Brady every day, every night, and I'm going to beat okay, you. Okay, I'm go going ahead. to beat you. Go and ahead. by the way, they're going to go head-to-head -head in December, yes. and it could be for all the marbles but, as but, in 16-0 and 0 but, marbles. But here's the yeah. thing, though, Skip. The thing is, is that you say they go head-to-head, -head, but Tom Brady doesn't play defense, mm. neither, does, neither does my homeboy. Mm. And we've seen Patrick Mahomes outplay him. Tom Brady gets the ball last, and he does what he does. But well, he didn't outplay him because Brady was all-time sensational so was, in so the overtime. I've never seen anything like Mahomes? that before. What was he was Mahomes? really good. Really good, huh? Yeah. Okay. No, he was really good. Was Tom Brady better when it mattered? Yes, it was. Skip, he didn't get the yeah. ball to see if he could have been better than clutch Tom. Plays. Who made the better clutch plays at Foxborough in the Sunday night game? Skip. Who made them in the fourth Skip. quarter? Tom no. outplayed him in no. the fourth Skip. quarter. He did. He beat him in the Skip. fourth quarter. The dude came back, tied the game, and Tom Brady got the ball again at the end, and they kicked the field goal. Mm -hmm. So stop. Tom Brady actually ran a touchdown in in the oh, fourth quarter. I get all that. But to save Patrick Mahomes, who threw for almost 800 yards mm -hmm. and had seven or eight touchdowns, played poorly in those two games, okay. would be disingenuous. Okay. Just like to say now, Skip, this notion that through three games, a quarterback has outplayed Patrick Mahomes is foolish. It's just plain foolish. Mm, it's laughable. Yes, okay. it is. Well, we'll see as time marches on but, because your guy is in danger of some big mistakes. Okay, but so Tom, so Tom Brady, so I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. Mm -hmm. Tom Brady will not have a bad throw this year. No, he'll have bad throws. Why? So why did they say that? Worst throws will be your guys. It doesn't matter. Worse. He's going to have some game-losing throws yeah. before this is over, Which, albeit against maybe the easiest schedule in the, NBA, in the NFL. That the, the mere fact yeah. that the Jets – and Miami yeah. is in the same division as the, as the Patriots. I'm starting should... to think the AFC West is about as weak. Seriously, really, yeah. really I do. Really? I look down their schedule, and they got one hard game, and it's going to be at, my, at uh, New England. How many, how many games do you think the Jets and Miami will win total? I don't know. Is Darnold coming back soon, a couple of weeks? They can win a few games. I just hope they don't beat Dallas in a couple of weeks. Really? Yeah. Skip, stop. Mm -hmm. You and I both know. There's no one playing. Skip, the guy had right. almost 12. Skip, he's throwing for almost 400 okay. yards a game and three touchdowns a game. Shannon. At almost 11 yards per pass attempt. I stand by what I told you in the preseason, becoming a caricature, and it's dangerous. It's great for you to say, see what my homeboy did? And I'm going to be able to have the last laugh here because I'm going to say, see what your homeboy did? What? He's going to throw big. He's got Favre in him, which means big throws, big mistakes, big Skip. times. You do realize the dude threw yeah. 50 touchdowns okay, with 13 I, I interceptions. That, that means nothing. He's won no Super Bowls. Skip! Okay. You see? You see? I mean, the guy's in his third year. Mm -hmm. And see, that's, that's how it gets okay. skewed. Well, skewed okay. It's because Tom Brady won in his second year. Okay. So if you don't win a Super well, Bowl by did. your second year. It's just a fact. Okay, he did. So, we're so, bearing... so, so Joe Montana didn't win. So Joe okay, Montana's right. a bum. I, I don't Elway, care about, so everybody, don't so care you heard Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless said if you didn't win a Super Bowl by your second year, you're a bum. Because mm -hmm. that's what Tom Brady did. did you said that. Yeah. That's what you said. We're talking about the greatest player in the history of the game. He's not the greatest player right now. Mm. I'm not talking about past tense. I'm no, talking about he, right he, now. He is the greatest player. No, right he's now. not, Skip. I'll take him over anybody. He's right not now. playing better than Mahomes. Okay. Now, let's talk about the guy who's Brady-esque because we have buried the Man. lead to this oh, okay. whole conversation. Let's get to the headline of this. Somebody named 
Dak Prescott is ranked second, and I think you're starting to see the light because it sounded like in your opening soliloquy that you're starting to give in to that. You don't have a huge problem with that. I'm saying I don't care who's second. Mm. The, mere, the fact that I have a problem oh, with okay. is Mahomes I isn't see. number mm. one. Okay, yeah, they, they talk about Dak is 30 or 37 on a, a play-action pass. Mm -hmm. Well, when you got two guys that can run for 100, and you got a guy in Zeke Elliott who's the best pure running back, and mm -hmm. he's not at Saquon's hurt, he's the best running back in the game. Mm -hmm. When you fake the ball in mm -hmm. his belly, yes, everybody's going to step up. And by the way, I told you Kellen Moore was going to change life for Dak Prescott <clears throat> because they have now run 30% more uh, play-action right. passes than they did last year. Right. Yep. They have 40% more motion plays to date, just mm -hmm. through three games, than they did last year. Right. So there's some more bells and whistles. There's some right. more distractions. Window there's dressing. more creativity mm -hmm. to it, okay. and it just looks and feels different okay. to me. But I got a statement I want to make about my guy, Dak Prescott. What you want to make? And I'm going to rain on your parade because did you know his first name is Rain, R-A-Y-N-E? So I'm going to rain. It's Rain Dakota Prescott. That's his full name. And I'm going to rain on your parade because I want to make it clear to you okay. This is nothing new for him. This is not a little blip. This is not something that's going to happen and then not happen anymore because it's been happening since 2014. I'm going to just remind everybody quickly that this isn't a one-hit wonder we're talking about here because do you remember what he did in 2014? It was his junior year at Mississippi State. He elevated them to the number one ranking in the country. Do you remember what happened? How they beat... LSU and Auburn and Texas A&M, and they vaulted up to number one. And that was the first time they had the playoff rankings. Remember? The initial remember, playoff rankings. Remember like yesterday. Okay? And they went three straight weeks ranked number one number in the one. playoffs yeah. until they hit Tuscaloosa. <laughs> and oh, they, they lost 25 to 20 because they were completely outmanned by St. Nick's depth. It was just too much, but Dak Prescott, he didn't play well that day, but he had played extraordinary well up to that point. And just for the record, in his career, twice in bowl games he was the MVP, and in the Orange Bowl, even though they lost, he set the record of 453 yards passing that stands. 453 yards. Okay? And then okay. he played, he played in saying, the Blue Body Bowl, in okay. the Pool and Weedy the Bowl, the Liberty, Chainsaw Bowl. Liberty Bowl. Yeah. Oh. yeah. They Liberty still play Bowl. that? Yeah, they still oh. play that. I think they, they might call it something Exactly. Else. It's in Memphis. State. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And Dak Prescott was named Most Outstanding Player at the Senior Bowl. So, so this is happening okay. and happening and happening. Then what happened his rookie year? He was named the Offensive Player Rookie of the Year, right? Mm -hmm. Offensive Rookie of yeah. the Year. Is that good? Yes, that good. seems like that's yes. pretty good to yes. me. And then what do I keep reminding you of? Over his first three years, he set the all-time record for a quarterback in his first three years of completion percentage. Uh, that's, about what, be, that's about to be broken. Okay. Okay. Cause you know the hall boy right behind him. Uh, right? All right, okay. But I'm just saying he did that. And then I told you that over his first three years, he leads the NFL in game-winning drives. So it didn't just happen yesterday. It's not a three-game sample. We're actually looking at a career unfolding before your very eyes. Skip, you said something that, that Dak, you said Dak, and you look at all this, you go back to 2015, you we shouldn't be surprised at this. And this is not a, just a blip on the screen, on the radar. Then why are you so sure that what we're seeing from Patrick Mahone, boy, is a blip this on the radar? This is about Dak Prescott. I'm just saying, but why are you so sure I, that I'm not Mah saying it's a blip. What but you, are you talking about? But you about? said Mahone, oh, you watch. You watch, Shannon. Okay. So why are you so sure that Dak isn't but Mahomes is. Well, it's apples to orange. I predicted before the year he's going to start making more and more dangerous throws because he's trying to live up to the hype they that you are driving. It ain't no hype. Yeah. He the real deal. Okay. Well, he I, the real I, deal. I, I agree he's the real deal, but remember, his coach is only going to green light every throw that he makes. So, so His so, coach is not going to give him any tough love because his coach wants to win MVP. I, I want you to know, so let me get this straight. Kellen Moore is giving mm -hmm. Dak tough love. Well, I don't know yet. They're first time together. I, I assume he does. Really? Yeah. A guy that's 29 years of age is giving a 25-year-old tough yeah. love. Well, You're gonna, you, is, that, you, is that your statement? You want to okay. stand on that one? But Dak didn't win the MVP last year. And, he and he's not going to. Okay. And well, he's not going to. Okay. And well, not going to my homeboy. he's going to be in the race. He's going to be in the conversation. I'm scared. Look here. Okay, so let me finish my point. Ten games last year, over the back end of the year, after they got Amari Cooper, what happened? He took off. He led the league in completions. He led the league in catchable passes. 
So this is nothing new. It just, the arc continues, and he's vaulted all the way up against our uh, arguably weak competition, whatever and you want to argue, And argue, who's okay? arguing? Well, whatever. You know, I think the Redskins in Washington, they're dangerous for the Zero. Dallas Cowboys. How many wins yeah. they got to show for that? Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, they're dangerous. No, they're not. Yeah, you don't get no. it if you don't. A black mamba is dangerous. Okay. Standing right. in front of an own well, country train train is black dangerous. black mambas in Washington. No, it's yeah. not, Skip. So, Those are the garden snakes so in Washington. Here's the point that... When it's time to make the hit the open receiver, he's hit almost every and one Patrick of them. And Patrick Mahomes missed him, huh? Okay. No, he's thrown. I, I, you already know what the stats are. Two minutes, and I didn't even bring up Patrick Mahomes. He's had two fumbles that could have been lost that were recovered. But those are negative plays, losing the football. What, Dak had any of those? No. no, no. Nope. Oh, no he, yeah, he did. Mm. Those two interceptions. Okay. But did I, he lose the football? So, intercept. So, I'm going to ask you a question. I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. I just said fumbles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Last year, he fumbled. I'm talking now. No, no. I'm you, you interrupted. I still can't finish my point. No, let me make I can't finish my okay, point. Okay, go ahead and make your point. Yeah. Go ahead and make okay. your point. So, my, my point point is that when he's had open receivers this year, he just keeps hitting them. And He I, should, Skip! Okay, th- w- what about this throw? Can we see one throw that he made on Sunday, albeit against the Dolphins? This was the first throw to Amari Cooper. Can we see this? Tell me how good this is. Help me out. Is that not a rifle shot? Would that not have gone for 40 yards? And Amari just missed it. And that's the first one he's missed in a long time. But, but see, that, that's a really sweet throw, man. Right up the seam. It's right on time. Yes. It's, it, it's again, Kellen Moore has got him sped mm. up. He's getting the ball out faster. Yeah, playing it's them grass rhythm. snakes. Okay. Grass snakes, right. Miami. We'll see. You got guard snakes in D.C. and grass snakes okay. in Miami. Well, Harmless. Okay. Harmless. Okay. You know how many grass snakes and guard snakes I've let lived mm. in my lifetime? Mm. Because they're harmless. Mm. They eat insects. They eat other things that pester you. They, are, they mean you no harm. So, my quarterback over the last 13 games has the best record in the National Football League. And that means he keeps beating teams. Because last year down the stretch, he beat the Eagles twice, right? And, and he beat Drew Brees. That, that's pretty good, right? And then he beat Russell Wilson. Does that work for yeah. you? I don't and know. Those Jay, Garden Snakes? Like Jared Goff. Okay. No. Lost to Jared. Exactly. Okay. He, he completely outplayed Jared Goff. No, he, he played, didn't. No, he, he didn't. Did, did he not play way better against Wade Phillips' defense than Tom Brady played whoa, in the Super Bowl? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, am I right? No, no, no. no. We're not yes. talking about that. Yes, we are Mark talking Skip, about that. All I'm saying, through three games, yep. my homeboy in a landscape. Yeah. Okay. If this was an election, it wouldn't be close. Okay. Well, I can tell you we got a long way to go, just like you tell me. It's just starting right now. Well, it's just starting for Patrick Mahomes because defenses are going to start laying for his mistakes. Go ahead. You know, again, sometimes they go, and still, he, guess what? he's far best because remember what they said about Brett Favre? You know, because your brother played yes. with him. Yeah. He'll throw you a couple of games, yeah. but you got to catch them because beat sometimes him the, they, they come so fast and hard. We beat him in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah that okay. was our philosophy. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, because sometimes they're hard to catch. You better be ready. Guess what? Okay. Oh, boy, only going to get better. Yeah. This is only his third year, Skip. Mm. Can you imagine when he's in his fourth year like you know who? You know what I can also say? I think Tom Brady's just going to get better. That's what I think. I think he's getting better right before your very eyes. Oh, really? Yeah, and somebody told me there's no way he's going to play until 45, and I'm sticking right Not in New England. Yeah. Not in New England. Let's see about that. Not in New England. How is Belichick going to get rid of this? The same way he's going to get rid of him a couple of years ago, remember? Okay. How was it? Uh, No mercy. Are you ready for what's ahead? You can't always predict the future, but you can game plan for it. Generations of families and businesses have harnessed the power of Pacific to help them reach their unique goals. Whether you need to save enough money to meet your needs, ensure your family is protected, or make sure you don't run out of money, Pacific Life has a variety of financial solutions that can help. Pacific Life counts more than half of the 100 largest U.S. companies as its clients and has been named one of the 2019 world's most ethical companies by the Ethisphere Institute. Protecting what matters most to people for 150 years and counting, that's the power of Pacific. Ask a financial professional about how Pacific Life can help you game plan for your future or visit www.pacificlife.com. The Patriots have reportedly not paid Antonio Brown the first installment of his initially guaranteed contract, and the receiver has filed a grievance. A.B. spent yesterday at a deposition for a lawsuit filed against the receiver for allegedly trashing a luxury apartment in 2018. This is the same apartment he was accused of throwing furniture off the balcony. And while leaving the deposition, A.B. posted an Instagram video saying that it went all right. 
mm. or Instagram videos. Uh, Shannon, mm. do you think mm. AB will win financial arbitration against the Patriots? And when will he play again? I don't think AB is going to see that money. <clears throat> really? I don't think he's going to get that money, Skip. Um, the question, I think the biggest question is, is that the Patriots are going to say he negotiated in bad faith. Mm. You knew you had this pending litigation, this mm -hmm. lawsuit, and you didn't reveal that to us. Mm. And then you sent a threatening or an intimidating text on our watch. Yep. Skip, his contract, the one that AB signed, stipulates, takes any action that materially undermines the pu public's respect for or materially mm -hmm. critical of a club's players, teammates' ownership. Yep. Skip, when he sent that... That, uh, uh, that tweet mm -hmm. about Mr. Kraft, yeah. there's a reason why he deleted it. He knew he had what he had done. Yeah. He had stepped in it. Yep, good And point. he couldn't get it off his foot. Good it's point. over. Mm -hmm. I believe, Skip, I, don't, I, I know Mr. Kraft fairly well. I, like to, I, I think I know him pretty well. I believe they release A.B. A.B., appreciate the opportunity, uh, Patriots, Mr. Kraft. Good luck the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Leave it at that. I believe they pay him that $5 million. Now, the likelihood of him getting that other one in January, that's a whole different... Art. So you think they'll pay him half of it? No, 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 no. So. I believe they would have. Oh, they would have. They okay, would okay. have okay. had he not sent that, okay, that, that tweet, tweet. Okay. about I see that. Mr. Kraft. That's what I believe. I believe Mr. Kraft would have done that. Mm -hmm. Now, the second installment, that's a different, that's a different yeah, story. I okay, got it. I see. That's what they're going to argue. Mm -hmm. They're going to argue, Skip, that A.B. did not disclose because he can't say, well, I didn't know yep. because it was reported that this, uh, they had ongoing talks about trying to come to some type of agreement or settlement mm -hmm. since April. Well, you signed this in August. Yeah. You signed with the Patriots, what, early August? Late August, excuse me. So you did know whether or not he's going to ever play again, Skip. I don't believe he's going to play right now. The NFL sent out a memo, Skip, mm -hmm. and they warned. Now, you signed this guy at your own peril. The Patriots released him, but we're going to get our pound of flesh, too. Now, that's what they said in so many words. So, basically, if you sign him, you're basically signing for 2020. Because he ain't play, He probably ain't going to play this year. I believe he's too radioactive, and I don't believe teams are going to sign him because they don't know enough about what's going to transpire, mm -hmm. be it from the lawsuit or the intimidating group chat mm -hmm. that went on later. Yep. I believe because of that, I don't see a team taking that leap of faith. Mm. He's too unpredictable. Skip, mm. all he had to do is just behave himself, and he gets $30 million. He couldn't do that. All he had to do was behave himself, and he could have got $15 million. If he doesn't press sin, mm -hmm. he gets $5 million. Skip, what he's doing is what we call in our community is hustling backwards. Yep. Normally what you do, you go to school, you try to get you a good education, get you a nice job, you live happy, get your wife, two and a half kids, white picket fence, live happily ever after. Mm. A.B. got the high-paying job without having to get the degree. Mm. $30 million, he gives that up to go back to school? Where did he do that at? What mm. person you know, Skip, has a chance to get $30 million, say, no, nah, I don't want this. I want to go back and get my degree. Mm -hmm. You see how foolish that is? And then yep. what does he do, Skip? Normally, when you come out of the courtroom... No comment. You don't want anybody to see you. Maybe you're the, you're the perp and you like, you trying to hide or you got no comment. What are you doing, Skip? Mm. Want to be seen. Not yep. surprising. He going back to school. What do you do, Skip? Here are my classes. Mm. Skip, they got released. I'm free. I'm free. Mm -hmm. See, everything's a show to him, Skip. Everything. <laughs> Who would do that? You're, you're fighting a second lawsuit after you were caught throwing furniture in a fit of rage off the 14th floor balcony mm -hmm. and endangering uh, a year and a half year old child at the poolside along with a lot of other human yes. beings. And the video got released, we saw the surveillance mm -hmm. video was released yesterday. And you can see furniture falling and then you can see the inside of a 35,000 a month condo uh, South Beach. That, 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 that old Skip Bay. That yeah. old Skip Bay is in Bel Air. That's what yeah. he's paying. Yeah. Nice. He got old Malibu paying too. That's what he's paying yeah. in two mortgages. Yeah, yeah that old Skip. Yeah, I rent, you own. <laughs> right? <laughs> but 35 grand a month, <laughs> and he just tore it all apart. Yeah. And the owner of the condo is now suing him on top of the, the civil suit that he already settled yes. about endangering the kid at yeah. the poolside. And you're going to draw attention to that by by taking a selfie video and posting it, look at me. Yeah. It's so brazen. It's so, I'm above 
the rules and in this case, the law. I can just get away with anything. We, we've seen, I was thinking this morning, you know, we've seen a lot of rock stars through the years, yeah. you yeah. know, okay. big singing stars. They just, the hero worship just takes them completely over the edge yes. into delusion mm -hmm. where they think they're, they're godlike. They're invincible. Right. That. They're That's invincible. Right. And it seems like he's going in that direction. Yes. And, and so just that video alone told me, I, yeah, he is radioactive. There's no way he's going to play the rest of this year. <laughs> and if he loses the civil suit, the one that's fought, that has the rape accusation yeah. in it, it, it could endanger his chances of ever playing in this league again because then he might become just too toxic. And you know how this league works. Yes. Once there, there's one sweep of the league and, and everybody says no to a player, then it's that sheep think of, ooh, Everybody said, no, we, we can't say yes, can we? Mm -hmm. and, and it can work where it, it's, it's like a Colin Kaepernick scenario, and that's an apple to an orange because right. obviously Colin didn't do right. anything wrong. He did everything right to me. But, but the point is, once several teams said no, more teams said no, then everybody says, no, 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 we right. can't do that, right. right? And i tell you what, Skip, he said that thing out about Mr. Kraft. Yep. What do you think the mother owners think? <laughs> now, there's only 32 of them, hmm. and they might disagree on a lot of things but they will never disagree with each other publicly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you attack one of them, you best believe you attack all of them. Mm. So he better be very, very careful, Skip Bayless, because mm -hmm. let me tell you something how, how, how things work. As long as you got money going out and you got money coming in, you can act a fool. Yeah. But there's something called that when, you, when it stops coming in and you still have it going out. That is true. Yeah. So he better, be, he better be very, very careful now because, you know, he's living this extravagant lifestyle in private jets and big mm -hmm. cars. Yeah. I've seen people with far more money than they be go belly up. You have. I agree. So Mike Florio, and I think he has a law degree. I'm pretty sure of that. He, he wrote that the Patriots might ultimately um, lose this, the arbitration really? case mm -hmm. to Antonio. But I, it, it, because it, it's hard to prove that he committed a forfeitable breach. But your point is a strong one because did he damage the image of his football team? Yeah, he did. Yeah. And can they successfully argue that? I would think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I, I would think it, as his misbehavior piles up that, that you can just see one thing Skip. after another that they could argue, look at this, look at this, look Skip. at this. If they trusted him, guess what they would have done, Jenny? Hmm. They'd have gave him that $5 million at the time he signed the contract. Yep. That's what they did with Julio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Julio signed a $66 million sure. extension. He got 64 of it at the time of signing. Absolutely. If the Raiders trusted him, They'd have gave him 25 of the 30 million they at would. the time he signed the contract. <laughs> they knew it. They knew he was just a matter of time. But I told you, Skip, well, how long we gonna mm -hmm. last? I told your buddy myself, tell you, that he can't help himself. Mm. I said, he's out of control, he's emboldened. Mm. I said, all his followers are like, A B, you right. Mm -hmm. they, he, he emboldened, Skip. And it's it's he it's like a like electricity is flowing through his body yep. and he's getting stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. And he's feeling energized and energized. Man, you see what AD, A B did? Yep. Oh, he playing that. He, all along, he wanted to get to the Patriots. That's what he did. Look here. I might want to get to a certain place, Skip, but I'm not going to turn up that kind of money mm -hmm. to go over here for less money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then if I do that, then why, so why F it up in the, so if this, mm -hmm. if this is where I wanted to be, mm -hmm. if this is my utopia, I got Tom Brady, I got the greatest head coach, I, got, I know one thing, we're going to play in the AFC Championship game mm -hmm. with a chance to go to the Super Bowl. I do know that. Why am I going to mess that up? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I watched two very good players, great players, Terrell Owens, Chad Ochocinco Johnson, mm -hmm. and, and they finally became, you, you saw it, yeah. a little more trouble than they were worth. And the league slowly but surely said no to both of them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It just, it just happens. Now the Pittsburgh Steelers, a cornerstone franchise, said no to him. Right. The, the Raiders and John Gruden all but groveled and crawled for mm -hmm. him, and then they said, no, right. we can't deal with right. this anymore. And now Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft have said no. And, and Skip, and the Patriots will take anybody. Yeah. If you can help the Patriots win, this notion about, oh, the Patriots are a model franchise. Mm. Look here. Look here. If you can help them win, no. they'll go to San Quentin. They they'll go to Rawway in Georgia. If you can help them win, mm -hmm. they'll bail you out for a day and score a touchdown to tackle somebody. Well, That's what they care about. I'm sure they will argue we did not know about the impending civil suit. Sure. But once they did know, did they immediately cut back? No. No, they did not. No. Okay. No. Thank you. And, 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 that's, and that's, that's what did they know 
When did they know it? Because I'm sure they're going to make the case, but A.B. is going to say, well, when you find out, you didn't cut me. Yeah, they played him. Right. And they force-fed him passes right, right out but of the blocks. And then they're going to say, well, see, and yep. then you sent the, 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 the group chat yep. and then the tweet. Uh, see, that's where I skipped. I believe that's where they're going to get him. The tweet is damaging. Yes. Look good. He, but, Skip, somebody got to him because he deleted it. He did. That's true. He's good at deleting. Yeah. He's he knows how it works. Yeah, uh, guess what? Guess what else he deleted? Hmm. 30 million and 50. He, he <laughs> deleted $45 million from his account in a year. $45 million. What? So I read the Patriots owe him just under $300,000 from mm, that one game. Correct. That's it. 283. He playing that skill. 283, 300. AB playing this. AB outsmarted all y'all. Hey, Jerry. Jerry Rice, I'm oh. talking to you. Mm. You still think AB outsmarted everybody? He played mm. everybody? Mm. <laughs> that was before all this. Hey, yeah. Yeah. A.B. had none of this planned out. A.B. thought he was going to bring that same bull jive that he took from Pittsburgh, was going to bring it to the Raiders. And Mike Mayock and John Gruden said, hell no, not on our watch. Mm -hmm. And then he thought he could do what he did. Skip, I'm, I'm in a utopia. I don't care nothing about that girl. Whatever you say, I have my day in court. Mm. You said all this, yada, yada, yada. If you want to mm. file a lawsuit, file a lawsuit. But I'm not messing up my money. That's one thing I'm not going to do, Skip. I'm not messing up my money. I'm not. I hear you. He's not listening. No, clearly yeah. he's not listening. Mm -hmm. Social media. It can get you. It it's can like a be. false reality it is. You, with all the support. And that's what I think is so interesting about it. And we'll look back and think of so many people who have been affected by it mm. yeah. in the past. No mercy. Hey, football fans. Are you an Amazon Prime member? Did you know that you have Thursday Night Football? Yeah, that's right. Thursday Night Football has returned to Prime Video for a third season. The cool thing is... You can catch all the action on your TV, on the web, or on your mobile device anywhere in the world. And the experience is next level. With Prime Video's X-Ray feature, you can access next-gen stats, play history, and team information. And now it's available on iOS, Android, Fire Tablets, and Fire TV. If you're ready to hear a new take on the game, you can switch over to sport broadcast legends Hannah Storm and Andrea Kramer for the play-by-play. -play. So if you don't have cable or simply want to experience the future of football, tune in this Thursday. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern and kickoff is at 8.20 p.m. Eastern. Also available on Fox and NFL Network. NFL Network simulcast subject to change. Thursday Night Football is presented by no Bud Light Live. Uh, we're going to switch gears to Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Yes, they are 3-0, and but the QB thinks the offense can be doing a lot more. Rodgers said, quote, it's time for us to do our part on offense. The defense has allowed 11.7 points per game, but Rodgers has passed for his second lowest amount of yards in three games to start a season. One anonymous coach said the only people who think Rodgers has dropped off are the people who do not have to play <laughs> him. Uh -huh. So I have a feeling Shannon you you have something it. to say mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. How much has Aaron declined in your opinion? Nothing. Nothing. He lost nothing on his fastball. Really? He may, can't run to 40 like he did when he came out, hmm. but he's lost nothing. Skip, he, he's playing differently. They've only trailed for six minutes in, in the entire season. Hmm. So there's three games, there's 180 minutes. They've trailed six. Hmm. So in other words, because their defense is so good and they're playing from the front, yep. he doesn't need to take those unnecessary risks with the ball. Hmm. Skip, and you know this, when you see defenses that, that's playing as well as the Packers are playing, you go back, you look at the Bucks. Defense in 02. You look at the Ravens in 2000. You look at the uh, Seahawks in 14. You look at any defense that's been very, very good. Mm -hmm. Their quarterbacks typically do not have outstanding numbers because they normally play from the lead or they play close to the vest. Okay. So right now he's playing close to the vest. Now, they're going to play Kansas City. If you think you're going to win a 14-13 ball game or 14-10 ball game in KC, that's not happening. If you think you're going to win a 10-7 ball game against San Diego, I'm San Diego, mm -hmm. the Char LA Chargers, I that's not happening. Their defense is much better than it was a year yes. ago. Yes. They've made some big-time upgrades. The Smith, the, yeah. that law firm Both of Smith of and Smith. I know. Yeah. They can rush the Yes, passer. yes. Yeah. And here's the thing. Mike Pettin has been there. That's the same defense. Yeah. This is a completely different offense. Yeah. They're back four. They're secondary. It's stronger and stronger. They're, those kids are getting much hey, better. That front four ain't bad either. I know, I know. And, and Martinez no, in the middle. They're, they're middle. legit. But here's the th and the thing is that you, what you like, Skip, is that you got a side of the ball that can hold you down mm -hmm. until you do start clicking. 
In 2000, Skip, we had a, a historic defense. Our defense gave yep. up a little over 10 points a game mm -hmm. throughout the entirety of the season. Mm -hmm. But we did win a game against Jacksonville, 39-36. We did hang 40-plus on the Jets. So there were some times that the defense didn't have their thing that we did have to score hmm. more than our typical 20 points that we averaged that season. Okay. There's going to come a time in the course of the season that the, off the offense is going to have to score. Yep. You're going to have to get into a shootout. Mm -hmm. The defense just doesn't have it that day. Okay. Some, some quarterback or some offense will have their number. Okay. And Aaron Rodgers will be Aaron Rodgers. And he, like... I can't believe I actually thought this guy had lost it. Hmm. The only people that believe Aaron Rodgers has lost it is teams that don't have to scheme against him and the guy that I beat down every day. <laughs> One, Skip Sharp, Skip 6'9". Hmm. Yeah, you. Hmm. Skip Sharp. That sounded very delusional to me. That, that's <laughs> like A-B a, delusional. <sighs> Here's what the numbers say. He is in decline. And again... He doesn't run the football much at all. So far, he's run five times this year for mm -hmm. seven yards. So even when he does run, he, he doesn't have the same zip, the same pep in his step. Because there were times when he could really take off and gash you. Over the last couple of years when he tried to run, what happened? Bad things. Bad things <laughs> Exactly. <happen. laughs> so all I know is what the numbers tell me. And his completion percentage has dropped each of the last four years. Not two, but four years, and that includes this one. So it's gone 66%. We're going back four years ago. 66, 65, 62, 61 this year. So it just, it's eroding slowly but surely. What do you want to bet? It'll, okay. I bet you want to bet it'll be, a, it'll be above that number when it's all said and done. Maybe. I, I don't know. But it just keeps going that direction. I know. His QBR keeps going south, south, south. And now he ranks 18th in the NFL at 46. That's just who three games, but he's not playing Aaron Rodgers' domination football. No. He's not the human video game he once was. But it's hard. He once was your homeboy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He was that guy. He's not that guy anymore. And again, he said yesterday, at some point soon, we've got to live up to the defense. If you look at, if you look at Tom Brady, Skip, if you look at when the defense is playing well, great. They don't take the risk with the ball. Mm. You look at the Rams game. Now, you look at Atlanta in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and you see it was a back-and-forth game. Well, we got to score. Our defense, doesn't have, our mm -hmm. defense does not have it, so yep. we got to do this. You look at the, uh, the Philly Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The day our Super Bowl, our guys just don't have it today. Tom, you got to get into a shootout. Mm. So you have what to. What did he do? He got into a shootout. He took the L. Did then he, he came, yeah. Uh, how, how many yards did he throw for? As a matter of fact, Jen, I, closed, many yards he throw I closed the whole restaurant down. Oh. I didn't want anybody to bother old Tom Brady. I wanted him to come oh, and have the you restaurant know to what himself. what you should have done? You should have closed it down just for him. <laughs> and then by himself. Yeah. Hey, everybody. He, he broke treatment. the all-time playoff record of 505 yards passing against a hot Philly defense. And guess what I had lined in, the, the, lined wow. in my restaurant? What? 505 L's. Hmm. I wanted to see all the time. He threw for 505 yards. I had 505 L's. Really? That is so that's what I hate. So disrespectful. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Is. So all I know is when I listen to Aaron Rodgers now, he doesn't sound the same anymore. He sounds like he's mellowed out as he's approaching the age that was Scott, 36. That's what Scott's a dude to you. That's he, what he keeps saying. Yeah. I'm going to go home and have a little Scott. You probably on that Doors or that finger, Johnny Walker. Right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want that Johnny Walker and, blue myself I, sometime. You know how you feel, with you. you feel the <laughs> fire is burning in somebody's stomach, you know? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think the fire's going out. The pilot light's about to go out no, in the stomach. I'm, I, that's what I'm getting. It's about to rage. And by the way, I don't sense any rage in him. Oh, guess what? Hey, guess what? You will. A week from Sunday. Yeah, he's getting a kick out of his defense. Remember the Thursday night game? Yeah. He was just ecstatic on the sideline, kissing and hugging I, I everybody. Tell you, I, like, you know what, Skip? I yeah. tell you when you see that fire burning. Yeah. I see it when you see You remember that movie, The Tower Inferno? Mm, do you I? will see it yeah. Yeah, a week from Sunday. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, tell, go ahead and tell the people what's going to happen a week from Sunday. Dak Prescott's going to happen. No, no, no. The way he always does. But we got cases on that. Put two on it right now. That's going to be a good one. Put two on it right two? now. Yeah. And I get the points, too. Heck no, yes, you don't. Yes, I get the points. Oh, wait, wait. You're, you're spitting fire, and then you say, but I want the points. I want the points. Well, you just told me hold he's up. still Aaron Rodgers. Whoa, he's whoa, way whoa, better whoa, than whoa, Dak whoa, Prescott. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 Come no. on. No, 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 hold Put on. Put your do where your mouth hold is. Hold on, hold on. Talk about, talk about. Let me, let me get my sheet. You got the second best quarterback in the league right now. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. But you got the second true. best quarterback. And my guy. Not says no, you. No, no, no. And for the last four years, mm -hmm. Shannon, I hate to break it to you. Mm -hmm. The last four years, that's including this year, your guy is heading down. Yep. Yep.
I'll, I'll take Dallas head up no, right now. No, 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 Oh, no, come no, on. Have no, some no, guts. No, I got him. I got you, him. You have no courage or conviction you know about what? Aaron Rodgers. You know what? You have admitted slowly but surely he is sinking into the no, sunset. No, he's not sinking into No. And by the way, can I remind everybody, it's been eight full seasons since he played in his one and only Super Bowl. And he did win it, but that it's eight full time. seasons. Can you imagine that? Well, well he, was a, he, was a, he was an onside kick away from getting back, Skip. Mm. You, know, you know, all the dude had to do was mm. do what he was coached to do. Yeah. Go block, and the ball drops right in Jordan Nelson's hand. And I told you, Aaron Rodgers took more criticism from Milwaukee area, crit, you know, Wisconsin yeah. critics yeah. for that game, for his performance in that game, than any playoff game in his career. Yeah. And I'm also going to remind you that outside of that 4-0 run as a wild card, road wild card team to the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. Outside of that, he's won five other playoff games. One was against Joe Webb. One was the Dez catch game, which they should have lost. No, they shouldn't have. One was against Kirk Cousins. Remember that game in Washington? Yep. One was the, the New York Giants Odell boat trip game. Remember that one at that Lambeau? One. And then Mason Crossbar happened at Dallas. The and so Dak Prescott has played him three times. Just go look at the QBRs for those three games because the average of my quarterback in those three is 80 and your quarterback is 62 average. I just want to know, games. but why did, your, why did your quarterback keep asking me to stay open late? Why did he keep visiting? Because he couldn't play safety. No, 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 don't do it. Don't and do it. And then sometimes just, things are just meant to be. You remember the two Mason Cross. No, I don't remember nothing. 56 and 51, and it looked like remember. he mishit both of them. Hold on. He faded one. It was a dying quail that just, just sort of gasped over the right cross. Do you remember But, see, but you don't say nothing about yeah. Adam Vinatieri kicking a field goal in El Nino. I know, but they look yeah. they look real to me Skip, when Vinatieri the man, kicks the man <laughs> kicked The man yeah. kicked the ball. Do you remember the one at the end, the game winner? He hooks it. And I'm like, no, I won. No, no. no, I lost. No. And it was like the hand of no, God no, no. came down and moved no, the football he, he back to, inside the he left upright. drive it like that. Dri- drive it. You've never seen a field goal hook. And then slice. Weird. How, how can you do that? Easy. It's impossible. That, oh, no, no, cooking were good. Yeah, yeah. no, cooking were good. That, that cost they, us maybe a Super Bowl. Yeah, you know, yeah. You we would have beat. We would have had Atlanta at home. Y'all that would have been. Be and Matt Ryan was the MVP. But I think we could have beaten Atlanta at home. Well, you all you do beat Green Bay. Yeah. You can yeah. remember. Well, you, we had him beat. Because remember, you doing all that talking. Yeah. All that bubbling. My guy went to Lambo and I played your guy. Well, he did, and that was a big dub, and, not an L. And, and then guess what? Yeah, my guy said, "You know what? I'm yep. tired of skip. You know, cause you know he be watching. Oh, he he's watches. like, I'm tired of him talking, bumping yep. them gums. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put Mr. I'm gonna put Mr. Rain Dakota Prescott. Rain R A Y N E. And you like know that. his name? Yeah, his name is Old Sunshine. Is like it? A Sunshine Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Cause the sun was out that day. Really? The, sun, the rain didn't come out. Yeah. You know they call some people Mr. Sunshine sarcastically, and uh-huh. he's like sarcastic <laughs> Mr. Sunshine. No, he he's always angry about something. That's something. He's like... always got something stuck in his craw. All he said is. Yeah. That, you know, sunshine. He, look, I the man said he, yeah. he's mellow yeah. a little bit. Yeah. He on that scotch. He, he let is. you know he five have a finger. He got. Is. He got. Yeah. Look, okay. he and Danica. He happy. He booed down now. Yeah. So he, hey, that's what you do. I love it. I, I have to go home and get on that Johnny Walker myself. Dude, dealing with you every day. Look, yes, it's the L's. No, it ain't no L's. No, 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 you can't come sometimes in. I come, sometimes I feel good. I'm like, yeah, I done beat Skip down. I come home, yeah. change out of my clothes, yeah. and take a dive in my pool. Just <laughs> stay in the water for Up like... there in Bel Air? Yeah, I stay in the mm. water for like two minutes just thinking. Do you? Oh. Somehow I can't mm. for that. Mm. Yep. Just, mm. just, That's what I'll be you doing. You in your pool. That's yep. tough life, Shannon. Scary thought. <laughs> so it must be nice. I have no pool. Uh, mm. I'm looking forward to that game tomorrow. Skip has a pool. Packers. Uh, here we go, shows. and we got... You're two quarterback. Fox, you, you can't win that night. game. What? You got W I N C E on one That's side, and you got your A Roger on the other. Walk into him. How yeah, do you even gonna handle win? it? Oh, man, who's going to win? It's going to be hard for you. Do I got to pick that? Yeah. Can oh, you lose absolutely. two games at once? Is that possible? <laughs> well, I, hey. Oh, that's all right. Y'all play the uh, the Packers play uh, at the Patriots. Dallas. Yeah. Oh no, what do you mean? Y- y'all play? Don't y'all play the Cowboys? Play the Patriots? Yes. Yeah, y'all got to. You got to pick one of them. I already did. I picked the Patriots. Got it. I give it up. Done. Uh, you, oh, you do I that give it that? up to Tom Brady. You did that to Dad? Yes. <laughs> I'm done. Dad. I didn't I'm want done. you to know that. It's in Brady's house. Yeah, you see you that, realize that? that? I didn't want you to know that. Yeah. That's, how, that's how quick he turned on you. Tom Brady's going to take a dive in his pool that <laughs> Sunday and just go. <laughs> oh, must be nice. No mercy. Stop what you're doing and look down at your left wrist because our friends at Movement Watches have got exactly what you're missing. 
Movement has you covered with tons of quality, clean, and all-around good-looking watches. They also have tons of sunglasses and offer interchangeable watch straps so you never run out of options for a new look. Movement accessories are the perfect gift for others or just for yourself. Movement watches start at just $95, so you're guaranteed to find something you love that won't break your bank. They've sold over 2 million watches across more than 160 countries, and their collections are always expanding. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash undisputed. See why movement keeps growing. Check out their expanding collection. Go to mvmt.com slash undisputed. Join the movement. No mercy. According to multiple NBA scouts, Lamella Ball has played his way into being considered a top draft pick while playing in Australia. One scout said Lamello reminded them of last year's Rookie of the Year winner, Luka Doncic. Mm. Lamello has risen to the top three in mock drafts and is being touted as a potential number one overall pick in next year's draft. So, Skip, how surprising is this? <clears throat> For me, not at all. Really? And I'll tell you why. Once more, I got to give it up to LeVar. Mm -hmm. When did we first have him on this show? 2017, I know. Mm -hmm. Lonzo was still at UCLA. So it's ahead of that draft, mm -hmm. obviously. Okay, yeah. We had him on. He was becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, he was a household name. True. And after that was over, I, I did a Facebook Live hit with him over in our, what oh, we okay. call the avocado room. Mm -hmm. And we continue to talk, and I didn't know much about the youngest ball brother. Right. And what did LeVar tell me? Flat out, you know, he's, he <laughs> tends toward hyperbole, but right. the, a lot of hyperbole turns true. Mm -hmm. He said, my youngest will be by far my best. And he was already comparing Lonzo, you know, to like better than Steph yeah, at that point. Right. Yeah. But he said, my youngest will be my best. He said, my youngest will wind up being six feet, nine inches tall. Wow. And he's on his way. He's 18, and he's a real full 6'7", and they're predicting he might grow another couple of inches. So he might turn out to be 6 mm -hmm. feet 9 inches. Wow. And he's a, a beautiful blend so far of some Lonzo and w w with, with a, a real shot. Lonzo has obviously struggled with the shot. It's still pretty – it's good enough for him to be a star in the league. We'll, we can go on right. to that. But, but the, this kid can really shoot it, but he could shoot it from the start. Right. You could see when he was – 13, 14, 15, he could shoot threes. Yes. And so all of a sudden, he's got some of Lonzo's gift for seeing, feeling, and passing, mm -hmm. which is why they're starting to go Luka Doncic yeah. here. Correct. Mm -hmm. Just creativity. And he's, he looks like he's going to be a little taller than Lonzo with, with a f much fuller offensive repertoire. Right. He's going to be a scorer. Right. And he can rebound, and he can pass. And he has a, a, a little bit of a new unselfish streak that I didn't see in the, the – In the high school. The, the when, one, he was, yeah. when he felt when, he, when LeVar fell out with the head coach because ah, his son couldn't shoot 50 couldn't shots shoot a game. 50 shots a game. So I'm reading this piece by Jonathan Gavoni, and it's, it's a good piece on ESPN.com. And the quotes just didn't surprise me. And, and, again, Brian Wintour said on ESPN yesterday that, remember, he's playing against full-grown men in right. Australia and New Zealand. Right. I think the, the quality of basketball there is high. Right. It's really going right. higher and mm -hmm. higher. We saw what they just did in the, the world games, right. right? Yep. That's a good point. And his point is that he's dominating full-grown men, some of whom have, have had stints, pretty good stints, mm -hmm. in the NBA. And against the Defensive Player of the Year in that Australia-New Zealand league, the other day he, had, he went 19, 13 rebounds, 7 assists. And that the Defensive Player of the Year just couldn't deal with him. Right. Okay? So we got that going. And then I read a quote from an NBA exec that says, he's completely changed my perception of the type of prospect he is and all the background info are garnered here, I'm sorry, gathered here, from his coaches and teammates paint a very different story of what I thought of him on and off the court. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like the youngest is growing into a really good kid. Who's yeah. Lonzo's a great kid too, but but the opposite of Lavar. But that's but but think about it, Skip. A lot of the perception of the kids is what framed through the Lavar. All in the family. Yep. Yep. And the and the reality show, right? Yeah. And 
that one scout said, you're expecting something magical to happen every time he touches the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's, that's a mouthful, which is why he is in the conversation mm -hmm. now for the first overall pick. And the funniest quote in the piece came from his head coach over there who said, I haven't heard from LeVar, so we must be doing something right. And then he laughed. That right? was such right. a good sign yeah. to me. Yes, and LeVar made a little cameo appearance when the kid first got there but did not ask to even go to practice. Right. So he's staying, it sounds like so far, hands off. Do right. I trust it going learn? forward? And then we'll, I'm going to wait and see on that one. He's wearing no big baller brand attire, wow. no shoes, no clothes. It sounds like he's negotiating his uh, new deal. And oh, but this is, an opportunity to, this, okay. this is an opportunity to get Big Baller going. Yeah. Well, this is a prime like, opportunity. Sounds like the Suns are going in different directions. Well, what about uh, Big Baller? Yeah. Oh. oh. Too much too soon. Okay. Maybe they're learning yeah. here. Well, I'm not surprised because th this kid could be the have the best mix of all the ball traits, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Skip, when you look at it, considering the path, that is pro possibly could take him to the number mm -hmm. one pick. Mm -hmm. You figure he lost his eligibility in high school. He ended up having to go to Lithuania, and that didn't turn out well. Nope. He ended up playing in, in, in LaVar's league, and then he ends up going to some prep school, I think Spire in Ohio. Yes. Mm -hmm. To now he's in Australia. Yep. And could possibly be the number one overall draft pick in the NBA. That's a new route. <laughs> but the thing is, Skip, there's something called talent. Mm -hmm. And when you good, yep. You can't suppress it. You can't hide it. Hmm. Because that's why you can get the greatest tennis player in the, ever, Serena Williams, come from Compton, California. You got it. And you get a small kid, Rafa Nadal, come yeah. from a small town in Spain. Yeah. And because the talent is just so great. Yep. Well, this kid, you're like, he lost his eligibility. He's here. He's there. But he's talented. Yeah. He can play. And, and the, he seems to be growing up right before your very eyes. And the thing you'll skip, look. And I, and I think LeVar is also, he's like, look, there are some things, and he will never say this publicly, but he knows there are some things he could have done differently mm -hmm. that probably could have helped out. I agree. And I think he's taking a different approach with Melo than he did with Lonzo. Yeah. And I think that's, and I think that's serving Melo well. Um, but I'm, a little, I'm still I'm a little surprised, though, Skip, because a lot of people had him as a late first round, the second round, and, and, and after a couple of weeks of seeing him play over there, he's rising that... Saw so one thing I had him like the fifth, fourth, or the fifth overall pick yeah, I, with the potential to be number one. Yeah, well, this has him third to the Knicks. Yeah. It's just completely mock. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, okay. But he's, like I said, Skip, there's something called talent. Mm. And when you good, that's what my coach told me at Savannah State. He said, son, you don't need to leave. You don't need to transfer. Yeah. If you good, they'll totally find Totally agree. You. But I'm with you. I'm pleasantly shocked by this mm -hmm. because I feared – that LeVar was on course to ruin a second son because he painted such a big target on Lonzo's right. back here in Los Angeles. And then here comes the, the last, uh, LiAngelo just wasn't, he didn't have enough right. talent, I think, to make it. Right. I don't know if he can still hang on and make some. I don't think it's going to happen. Well, I just think the thing is, there's something, it's reality television. Yeah. It just paints a picture and yeah. people just get this, this, I don't know, people, uh, you get, you become obsessed. You like watching it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, what? when you really, you know, I think the Kardashians might be just good, solid people. But because of reality television, we have this sense of what we think they are. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened with, with Lamelo and, and, and LeVar and Ball and the family. Mm -hmm. And this guy's like, he's nothing like I thought. Well, what you, what you gather was from yeah. Ball and the family. Sure. And so once you get to know someone, because get reality television, nobody else has TVs, cameras in their homes every day. Mm -hmm. No one says, okay, cut, do that scene over again. Yeah. Or say it, say it like this. Mm -hmm. That's not, that's not, you know, we can say that's reality, but that's not reality. Yep. There are no cuts in your life. I walk in, if I forget something, I forget it. Mm -hmm. But... Okay. I, ho I wish him well. But I feared that LeVar had wrecked his route to the NBA because... This kid didn't even get to go to high school. He didn't even get to Finish en high school. enjoy his high school right. experience, right, for a couple of the yeah. last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, he didn't go to one year of college or any years of right. college. It's hard to it deal is with. hard. It's hard to grow up that way. Right. And then, then he has horrible experience in it's Lithuania. Because, Skip, that's normally not the right – I mean, we see a lot of, like, international – not American kids mm. do that. A lot of international tennis players. Yeah. They don't go to college. Mm. You know, they just, you know, they play, they play, they play. Next thing you know, they're a pro. Or you see golfers yeah. that do it like you that. Do. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't normally see basketball players. Nope. Like, because remember, they made uh, uh, Ben Simmons 
Ben Simmons like, I want to go in the NBA. But no, no you got to go one year. You got to go to Baton Rouge. So Where? he go piddle around in Baton Rouge. He go piddle yeah. around down there for a year. And look like he didn't even want to play. <laughs> so yeah. and, and that's, what we, that's what we get. So the route that he chose that he's taken is very unusual. Yeah. And it, it's, it's like, I'm surprised because hey, I've never seen it before. Trust me, he's had some lonely nights in Lithuania. Yeah. Some lonely oh, nights Ohio. in Tasmania where he is now. Okay. Or Ohio. But, but I'm talking about when you're you're off U.S. soil yeah, right. and the food's different and yeah. everything's different. Yeah. The language is different in Lithuania. And right. you have to just, you have to grow up pretty fast. Right. To, you, to like you're saying, Skip, he's playing against grown men. Yeah. It's one thing playing against kids your age. Yeah. Now, what playing against kids older and grown men will do, it will force you to become better to compete. And I think that some of the things that when you have older siblings and you try to keep up with them, yep, I it, agree. Would, it would greatly advance your yep. skill set. It'll make you tougher. It, it definitely will. Right. It definitely will. Yeah. You grow up quickly. And, you know, I think that, that looking at his past, it is hard what he's been through, but maybe being away was actually the best thing for Might him. Considering the drama that oh. we saw and everything LeVar was involved in, like him or hate him, maybe being away was the best thing. Mm. He's been able to become his own person. And the fact that the coach said he's come with zero baggage wow. and that the players like him right. and they respect him, like, that's all that matters. Yeah. I, I can't root I'm for LeVar, but I root for these sons. Yeah. I am too. Yeah. I hope it works out for him. Yeah. This is just the beginning. So. Yep. Unfortunately, this would <laughs> this is going to put LeVar way back on the map if he's the first overall pick, oh. right? Whew. Oh, you're going to show no come of that yeah. thing, Dappy. It's up yeah. to us. We <laughs> put him on the yeah, map. I don't know. Let's just let this guy keep playing well, and we'll, we'll let it play out. No mercy. So Pro Football Talk has released its week four power rankings and the Cowboys remain at number three overall behind the Patriots and the Chiefs. Sitting right behind the Cowboys are the Rams at four and the Packers at five and oh. all teams. The top five are three, you know, on the season. Oh. Yeah, huh? interesting the stuff, Shannon. What, what happened? <laughs> No misprints, guys. I wouldn't do that to you. Should the Cowboys be ranked above the Rams and the Packers? No, absolutely Shannon. not. Absolutely uh -huh. not. I was hoping it was a misprint. It's mm. not. And I had Steve reprint it a couple of times. It's the same thing. It's the same up. way. Yeah, it keep and coming it's going to keep on coming out the same way. Stop it. Mm. How are they going to be ranked in front of the Packers? Mm. The Packers beat the Bears, the Vikings. Mm. So which I'm trying to say, which team that the Cowboys beat are better than the Bears or the Vikings? Which mm. one, Skip? Okay, thank you. They're moving right along. The Rams, they beat the Panthers, the Saints, and the Browns. Mm. Which one of those teams the Cowboys beat are better than those teams that the Rams beat. Hmm. Thank you. Moving right along. Hmm. At best case scenario, at best case, and I'm feeling very generous. Mm -hmm. Great day. Ten toes down. Mm. Blood running warm in my vein. Woke up this morning and said, thank you, God. Let me see another day. Mm. I'll put him fifth. Mm. That's the best I can do for him on a really? day like today. Yes. Fifth. Fifth. That's the best I got for you. Mm. You know, good and well, they don't deserve to be third, Skip. The, <sighs> the Packers beat the Bears. Did you, you like what you saw from the Bears, especially mm. defensively? Well, you about to find out how good they are defensively because you're going to see them. Yeah. At, at Chicago. Ooh, oh, Khalil Mack. Yeah. Oh, return of the mm. Mack. I'm going to put mm. somebody down. That going down several mm. times that game. Mm. Yep. Interesting. My turn now? No, it's not your turn. Oh, just yet. Okay. And the Rams, Jerry Goff. Yep. They ought to stop. They ought to Jared stop. Goff, you, you use that as no, no, ammo? No, 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 I'm saying. Are you that, trying to defeat your argument? No, 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 no. no. The Panthers, yeah. the Saints, and the Browns. Those are the three teams they beat, and they've beaten two of those teams on the road. Mm. You guys have been on the road one time. Mm. Y'all played Miami at home. Mm -hmm. Miami bad wherever they play. Mm. Home, <laughs> way, they bad on Madden. Mm. Yeah, don't nobody play with uh, uh, Madden. Madden. Yes, don't oh. nobody play with the Dolphins on Madden. Mm. This team can't catch a break. Mm. You finished? Yeah. It didn't seem like you ever started was the problem. <laughs> you know good and well they don't deserve to be third, Skip. What do you think, Skip? Let's start with the Rams, who are fourth. Please. My team is just better than the Rams. It just is. Like, let's just start with the quarterback. Is my quarterback better than Jared Goff? You better believe currently he he's play yes. Currently, he's playing better than your, the quarterback from the Rams. I'm not saying he's better. He's playing better currently. Is my running back better than their running back? You better believe he is. He's, he's just playing better. better. He's just playing. Okay, I'll give you that. He's playing better than Todd Gurley is playing. Is my offensive line much better than what we've seen so far from the L.A. Rams offensive yeah. line? Because it's been offensive, man, yeah. as in bad. 
my offensive line is now shot to the top of the pro football focus rankings. It's Skip, number should. one. They should. Number one. Skip. Lyle Collins is graded as the best right tackle in football. And that's my right tackle. Skip. On my left tackle. Skip. You got three number one picks yep. on your offensive line. Yep. You got a number two pick in Connor Williams. Okay. Lyle Collins would have been a first round pick would have. had that bull jive not agree. come out about it. You so got you it. have the potential of four first round picks on the okay. line and a second round. We got them. So you should and be. And they're signed, sealed, and delivered. Hey, all of them. Talk about that. Yep. We got them all. You, so you're giving it up? We're yeah, better? You like your offensive line, yes. And here's pro football focus on why Rams fans should be concerned. Is there a weak spot on the Rams offense right now? It's, yes, it's the offensive line. It goes into all the grades. Nobody's grading high. And you know what the great irony of this is? <sighs> in a playoff game that is still unfathomable to me, right here in Los Angeles at the Coliseum, that same group, that same offensive line, Blew my defense off the football to, the, to, off to, to the tune of 273 70, rush 70 yards. 273. Yep. How, how can you do that? How can C.J. Anderson go for 123 and Todd Gurley with his arthritic knees went for 115 yeah. in that game? How can that happen? Easy. And the bulk of them came in the first half when it was just like the hole got dug so deep because that offensive line, remember they are talking about they knew the tells? I, I don't know what that – remember they, they had all of our tells on this yeah. defense? They, what well, they were saying, they were tearing uh, y'all's tails uh, up. That's right. what the tail is talking about. Was. Okay. Well, suddenly, that line cannot protect Jared Goff, and that line is not opening holes the way they did against no, my defense. So I'm just saying, is my offense much better right now than this offense? What about your defense? Yeah. You know what? My defense, I, I'm not completely sold on okay, it, and man. I will give you this. The Rams' defense is clearly right now playing better than my defense. The, but oh. what, what did I see from my defense last year? Did I see my defense shut down Drew Brees in a big Thursday night game? Did I see that? Yeah. Yes, you did. Did I see my defense shut down the number one running attack in all of pro football in a playoff game, Seattle's? I did. Mm -hmm. They got 73 total yards uh, rushing. That's three yards of carry. So my defense did that, and then it did that? Yeah. How, how could that happen? Well, they're just young. They're, they're coming of age, and they weren't – I don't know. They just weren't ready to play. Maybe it was Coach Clapp's fault. Maybe both. he didn't clap hard enough okay, let me in the pregame you believe locker the, room. Do you, believe, do you believe the Packers have a better defense than you guys? I think they're playing at a little higher level right now. But remember, my defense is only going to get better and better. So and, and, and here's the point. And you're going to say they haven't played anybody. I'm they eye testing. Haven't. My defense can fly to the football. And on third down, my defense is allowed the second fewest third down. It's their percentage of third downs allowed is second fewest to New England's. So when it comes push to shove time, you, when it's time to just shut you, somebody down, they notice, shut them down. And, and guess what? Yep. <laughs> and, and, and only the Cowboys have played a worse schedule okay, than fine. New England. Okay, that's fine. I'm just telling you what my eye test tells me. They've been beaten up. I told you we had Xavier Woods down, Xavier, uh, um, Antoine Woods down. Ty Crawford has been down. They're getting healthy, and they're going to come back. My defense will just get better and better. And we might be having this conversation in six or eight weeks, and you're going to be admitting – you know what? Your defense is a top five defense because it has. Well, until then, it's till, until yeah. then, it's not right now. Yep. Yeah. And remember, Robert Quinn played his first game this year as a new Dallas Cowboy, and he started to pop off my screen, albeit against the Dolphins. But I saw a bookend pass rush. I mean, think about what you just said. Think about what you just. You already said, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Albeit against the Dolphins. You got to preface everything what you said. I mean, okay. the Dolphins. That's how bad they are. And you beat them. in Washington, albeit. Mm. The teams you've beaten, Skip, the first three weeks of the season, have a combined one and eight record. Mm. Is that good? Can I interest you in that? That's all you got to hang your hat on. That's You're all I need. clinging by your fingernails. Well, I got to hang my hat left. somewhere. Well, okay. So I hung it right there. Mm. One and eight. And you beat terrible teams. Is that a fact? Yes or no? It's a simple yes or no question. Is my offense playing at a much higher level than Aaron Rodgers' offense is right now? You better believe well, it. Well, we're going to find out in a week. Is, is my quarterback playing at a higher level than Aaron Rodgers? We're gonna you find, better believe we're gonna he is. We're going to find out in well, a week. Well, he's not afraid of Aaron Rodgers, the big bad bear that used to you be. Better, you, better be yeah. you better be afraid of the Packers because yeah. that defense for real. Mm. My offense is really for real because we got – a quarterback who's ranked second in the league and, and obviously the best running back in the league and the best offensive line. Deal with that. We'll see how it goes. I mean, you, your offensive yeah. line is unbelievable. Yeah. I never, no, okay. I've, I've never questioned your offensive yeah. line. But you skip. You got three number one picks and a second round pick and a guy right. that should have been a number one. You should be good at the offensive line. Do you realize Aaron Rodgers is already on course to shatter his own record? Oh Wait, let me finish. His own record set last year for throwaways. Already? So he is perfecting the art of 
I don't like what I see. I don't want to risk an interception. I'll just throw it in the third row. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the way to win football games that are hard to win. Turning it over is yeah. not the way to win football okay. well, games. Well, he doesn't turn it over. No. Because he was 25-2 to two last year, 25 touchdowns. Can I answer you in that? He's 4-0 to zero this year. Exactly. And do they look like a dominant offense? What does pro football focus not conclude yet. with? Conclude, cl- conclude. They say hmm. – if it gets to a point this season where Rodgers needs to make things happen, can he flip the switch back to yes. the dominant passer yes. we saw in the past? Because yes. I don't know about yes. that. I, I haven't yes. seen a dominant passer because we, for going yeah. on four years what, now. They, Skip, four years. They ask you that you uh, leave wild animals. You don't yeah. try to tame a bear okay. or a tiger or a lion because uh. what? Those instincts are innate. They're in there. Mm. So guess what? That is, those instincts that he was possessed with, mm. they're in there. Really? You'll find out. You know what, Skip Bayless? You and those guys that wrote that article will find out a week from Sunday, can he still do it? Mm. You're going to find out the hard way. I'll take Dallas for do it. How about do, do? Let's do the do. How about it? I'll we take Dallas time. straight up. We got time. What do you mean we got time? We got I don't need yeah. any time. Oh, look, they they play, I don't need I got Dallas. They got it, they, Who it, you got? I mean, you hey, got Aaron Rodgers? That, no, 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 no. Huh? We, Come on. They, they got to get – we, we got to worry about – we got Philly. I got to uh. – Last few times Aaron Rodgers played at Jerry World, he took the W, not the L. They're going to take it again. Yeah, okay. I got it. Two cases? What do you want? You got time, Skip. Wait, well, you don't need I don't, time. I don't want, like you Come tell on, me. Come on, have some guts. I don't want to jump the I mean, gun. this is just guts. I don't want to jump the gun. What, 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 what does that mean, Skip? Come on. What is jump the gun? I guess yeah. that's a false start or something. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. Before the gun goes off, you that jump it. That is correct. Yep. You don't want that. No, I don't want to do that, Skip. Feel it out. Yeah. Wait till you see what I, I don't need any gun. To, I, 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 I'm just jumping. I, I, I just <laughs> jumped in the middle of the I know you always do. And that's why I get you. Yeah. That's why I get you. You're down 42 cases. I don't think you've got me. And let's make it for. 44 cases. Let's go. I'll take two cases on Dallas right now Mm-mm. because Dallas is better than Green Bay. I'm I'm putting my pride and my due on the middle. We'll middle get it. Place. I mean, hey, it, hey, it still will stand next week. Yep. I mean, I, we can't do anything. They won't play till next week. Ain't no sense in putting okay. money up next week. Somebody. I mean, who? Let me ask you a question. Who betting on who betting on the line that's going to happen next week? You better with the line. I don't need a line. Yeah, yeah I do. I got lions. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got lions. I'm, I'm gonna need that three. And I got a half. the wolf hunter. I'm gonna need that three and a half. Mm-hmm. You're going to need it? Why would you need it? You got Aaron Rodgers. You say he hasn't declined one out. And we're going to have yep. that. We're going to be have, doing a lot of Jerry World leaping. Okay. Oh. We're going to turn that thing into Lambeau Field. We're going to be doing a lot of leaping. Okay. I just said, okay, two cases. I got that. Time. Huh? time. Patience. Somebody doesn't patience. have the courage. Grasshopper and patience. Somebody's patience. a little nervous We're about nervous what's about happening what? in Dallas, Texas. I got Aaron Rodgers. Yep. You don't. Okay, good. No mercy. All right, guys. When asked about defensive end Robert Quinn's season debut and sack celebration, Jerry Jones ended up sharing some interesting details about Ezekiel Elliott's pregame routine. Uh, let's take a listen. You know what's fun? Sometimes Zeke, he'll put a towel on or he'll put a shorts on or something and head down through the middle of the dressing room, kind of spanking himself as he emulates uh, riding the horse. And that's before a game. So you can see what a asset he is uh, on and off the field to the Dallas Cowboys. Well, there you have it, Skip. Uh, what do you make of this one from Jerry? Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it, Jerry. I, I, I did not love this. In mm. fact, I, I have a big problem with this. Ah. And to me, to, just to, keep, to frame this, he was asked a question about Robert Quinn's sack dance. Right. Yes. He could not restrain himself <laughs> from telling his cute little inside the locker room story right. about Zeke. So, once again, there, there are two people who could derail my Dallas Cowboys this year. One Uh-oh. is the head coach, Coach Clapp, <laughs> who always brings up the rear in the National Football League when it comes to motivation, pregame motivation. I just do not trust it. So the team has to rise above Coach Clapp. <laughs> and the other one is the owner and general manager of the Dallas Cowboys, who just cannot restrain himself, <laughs> especially when they're winning. Yeah, yeah. That's when it gets the worst. When they're winning, he just can't stop. And here's what's curious to me about Jerry Jones. Of all the current NFL owners, help me out if I'm forgetting somebody, the one who played the highest level of football would be Jerry Jones, yeah. right? Because yes. what's his name? Richardson in, in uh, Carolina. Jerry yeah, Richardson yeah. was, but he's right. been deposed, right. obviously. Yes. And he, he played, actually, he he played, played pro football. Oh, yeah. Jerry Jones was a starting guard on a national championship team at the Arkansas. 1960, yes, I think. Yes, 64. 
I think it was 64? 64, I believe so. Whatever. But he was the starting guard and, ironically, the roommate of one Jimmy Johnson just because it went in alphabetical order, mm-hmm. Jones Johnson. Mm-hmm. But it is quite ironic. But the point is, y- you would think he would have a better sense of this. But what did he say in, on opening night, the night he bought the Dallas Cowboys in his first speech to, to, to Cowboy Nation? He said, I'm going to know everything about this franchise down to the, and this was the quote, socks and jocks. Mm-hmm. So he's going to be in the locker room, and yeah. it leads to the old term of jock sniffer, right? Yeah. Because Jerry's got some of that going. Yeah. But you would think he played at a high enough level that he wouldn't be the classic guy who never could play anything, right. who just wants to rub elbows with his superstars. Right. But Jerry even went so far as to call it the dressing room. And who, who calls it the dressing room, right? Wouldn't you call it the locker room? Yeah, that's what it's, it's called. It's not hockey, right? Yeah. The dressing room. Okay. The dressing right? room is what you do in department stores okay. when you go to the right. <laughs> little outfit. It, isn't hockey more of the dressing room? I, I the said room? locker room Did more, you? Okay, yeah. all right, okay, yeah. whatever. Okay. So the, the point is... He used that he jumped in because he wanted to tell a cute little inside story yes. about Zeke. And and it's a little borderline R-rated story. Yeah. You know, he says that he puts a towel around him. But you don't believe he got the towel. No, you don't, I don't no, think he did. You don't believe he got the shorts on. He the might. shorts on. He might have a towel, but we're not even sure about that. <laughs> and then I think he was trying to have a cute little play on words right. of asset. Okay, yeah. we, we get it, Jerry. Yeah. Ha ha. He's a joke. Key, key, key in over here. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, that's just Jerry. But, but he is so full of himself right now. It's going good, Skip. It's Three going good. Up. Nothing's gone really wrong yet. <laughs> Had a couple of injuries, but he is feeling himself. Well, Skip, I think it just goes to show you the type of relationship that, mm-hmm. that Zeke and Jerry has. Yep. And that's why Jerry says, I've earned the right to joke with Zeke. That is correct. And, you know, hey, I'm going to say that again. Yep. I've earned the right yeah. to, to, to joke yeah, with Zeke. Then, Skip, look, and I don't have a problem. Look, there's certain things that, uh, that you, you try to keep sacred in the locker room. Um, but I think the thing is, is that when things are going well, mm-hmm. the least little thing that you think mm. is the reason why it's going well, you continue to do. Now, I can assure you, Zeke is going to do this again next week and the next week and the next week because we had a situation where we were going really good in Denver. We had a guy that would put on some blue tights, no shirt, put a towel around his neck, and he would get on uh, the, uh, the towel basket, mm-hmm. and he would go caroming down the, the, down the aisle of the locker room. Okay, got it. And we called him Super Tick. Okay. And we look forward to Super sure. Tick. Yeah, coming out. Super Absolutely. Tick. Yeah, Super Tick yep. was flying. Okay. And we look forward to that before practice and after practice. Got it. Got us going through. Because, Skip, you know, it gets monotonous. It really gets boring. Those are long days. He's like, oh, you got practice, me, yada, yada, yada. Yep. Okay. So this is their way of, you know, blowing off the stick. Man, Zeke, man, Zeke. <laughs> Zeke crazy. Man, you see Zeke, man, Zeke, you ought to be shaming yourself, Zeke. They wait for it. Yes. Obviously. Zeke, you ought to be shaming yourself, Zeke. You're too yep. big for that. You know, you know we, we have fun with yeah, it. Mm-hmm. But, Jerry, you ain't supposed to tell everything. Not supposed to tell it. <laughs> and if it is a good luck charm, it's a routine that they wait to happen, you're blowing it by telling yeah. it, right? Like if you if you let the world in on the the inside skip. Routine. That's what happened. Yeah. What do they do when you go in the locker room? What do they do, Skip? They close the door. Yeah. yeah. Because they don't want anything to get in or out. Jerry, you gotta keep that in there, Jerry. Yeah. You're not supposed to say anything. Yeah, you gotta keep that. In, you gotta keep that in there. I don't know. I even know that rule. <laughs> that, Jerry that's your wants guy. everybody to know he's inside that Jerry, locker room. Jerry. We know you're inside. Yep. We know that you probably address the team yep. before they go out on the field. You probably also address the team once they come in out, off the field. He does. I don't know about pregame, but it, I wouldn't put it past yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've never had, I, yep. that's, that, that would be new to me. Yep. I've never had all, you know, no. like if, in the playoffs, you know, obviously we win a big game and owners sure. like, I'm proud of you guys and the kid coach yep. you gave him the game ball. Mm-hmm. But as far as like a regular season game, mm. the owner never said it. I, Mr. B, rest your soul, our model, rest your soul, never said a thing in the regular season. Mm. Not one word after the game. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm just glad that those two are on the same page now and they're on the same team now and they seem to love each other now. So, in other words, Z going down the hall, going down the locker room, butt naked. Yep, I think that was the <laughs> point. If we're reading between the lines, yes, yes that is what's happening. And you're going to make my mind. Ah, oh, come on, yep. Z. That is what's happening. All I care is that I need to see this this Give Sunday you saw, night. You saw it. I need to you see, see it, it about four or five times. Skip. Sunday night at New Orleans. The man, I mean, he's he probably lead, well, he, he, I think he's lead the league in rushing. Yeah, can't help himself. He just does. He just rolls out of bed and does that. Oh, that, that's why he got that money. Yep. That's yep. why he got that money. And that's why Dak is 30 or 37 on play action. Yeah. You can't play, guess what? You can't play action if mm. he can't run the ball. Yep. 
and you can run the ball. Did so play see, at your work. said yesterday or a couple days ago, Zeke said, I'm cool with Tony Pollard. Yeah. A few series here. Yeah, yeah, we gave him crumbs. Yeah, yeah we gave him the crumbs, we get, but we getting a big piece of chicken. Okay. Yeah, we gave him a wing, yeah. but we eating the breast and the short thigh. Mm. Give him the wing. Well, he must have and a lot of respect the, for you. Yeah, we give him the back, right? too. Huh. You don't know about that chicken back. Uh, chicken back. We really? Chicken back, uh, yeah. Now we got two good running backs. Hmm. Interesting. No, no, no. You, you got a great early. running You got a great running back. And a good one. Yeah. And a good one. Yeah. You ain't got no two good ones. You got a great one. Mm -hmm. And you got a good one. Mm. Yeah. The good one's been pretty good That's so far. He, he, mm. he ain't that great one, though. No. There's a reason why you gave that man that 50 mil, Skip. That is correct. That dude is special. That, the, the, you go in the draft. You, I tell you what. You can go back in the draft next year and get you a Tony Pollard. Mm. You ain't getting that guy. That is true. But I can tell you that Tony Pollard will lengthen the career of 21. Yes, yes. He will. Yes. Okay. But he will hurt us now. If Zeke had aspirations of winning an MVP. Yep. No, nope. not gonna happen. No, nope. that's probably okay. Not happen now. Super Bowls, plural. Bowls. I enjoy confident Jerry. Yep. I feel like the the quotes are just better. Jerry, can I get back Happy on the Christmas Jerry. list? Jerry. Oh, you're not on it. Yeah, no, no, you, you 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 caught me my Christmas ornaments. Well, you did. I was getting Christmas ornaments until I started working really with you. Did really happen? It's dark. yes, mm. <laughs> yes. Until I started working with you. Tell the truth. You have good. become the head of the Shit, Cowboy Haters good. organization. I, Skip, yep. I, you, you told me to tell the truth. That's what you told me. The, yep. the very first thing you told me, you interviewed for the, talking to me about the job, you said, I just, be, yeah, just be honest. I said, okay. I'm so, honest, now you hold that against you me. You have dismissed them as overrated garbage. I didn't say they were garbage. Yeah, you did. They overrated them. Yeah, okay. There we go. Skip, they beat the Dolphins. Keep saying that. You can't say it oh, next Monday. Okay. I can't oh, wait until okay. Monday. Who they beat Monday? Yeah, they beat the Teddy Bridge. Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. When they lose to the Saints, what you going to say? I, I, they're not going to lose. I'm we, good. We, we got two cases on it, so. Okay. Yeah. Plus, okay. I got three and a half points, so we good. You mm. have no points. You, okay. you made the bet with no points, and you will accept no points. And you <laughs> proposed the bet first, and I accepted the bet at no points. Give me three. No, I'm not giving you any. Not going to have it. I thought you were so confident. We got that. You proposed the bet. We're going here. We're going to yeah. take off. See, when you go to the window in Vegas and you buy the ticket, you can't say, oh, wait a second. I, I, no, I need more points. You yeah. can't tell Vegas, I need more points. No. Well, no, give me a prop bet. <laughs> yeah, I get, I, get a prop, I, get, I get asked for a prop bet. Oh, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> no mercy. According to Pro Football Focus, Tom Brady is the highest rated quarterback this season. Coming in at number two is Dak Prescott, who was initially a third tier quarterback. Remember that to start the season by these same rankings. Dak is followed by Carson Wentz at number three, Russell Wilson at four, Deshaun Watson at five, while reigning MVP Pat Mahomes came in at sixth. We're joined by Fox Sports NFL analyst Mark Shalareth. Mm. Mark, did they get this right? Uh, no, but you know, I mean, I like one, I have to be careful because I don't want to irritate people, but I'm just going to irritate people. Like <laughs> what, what's your criteria? I, I don't like, I, I love the fact that you're going to grade quarterbacks without having context of game plans, responsibilities, all the different things. And I get that you have to look at the film and I get you have to make an opinion on somebody. But how Patrick Mahomes, who's on pace to throw it for 6,000 yards and almost 60 TDs, is your sixth-ranked quarterback, to me, makes zero sense. And you watch him. You know what the, the Kansas City Chiefs are with Patrick Mahomes? They're Globo Jim. They're White Goodman. We're better than you, and we know it. Mm. And that's who they are. And that guy makes throws that nobody in the NFL makes. Just, I'm sorry, he just does. Mm. And you watch the design of Andy mm. Reid. They designed two free touchdowns a game, mm. and guess what? They got a guy that can pull the trigger and mm. make those throws. Mm. Not only that, and I go back to his first year, last year, watching him look off coverage, understand where he wants to go with the football, and just throwing dimes. Like, mm. how you have him, the sixth-ranked quarterback, is beyond me. Mm. <laughs> Like Bronco, like Bronco. Don't do that, Don't do that, Skip. Don't do that, Skip. Yeah. Do that, uh, you know, if it was like Bronco, like Bronco, we would be bashing him because he plays for the Chiefs. Chiefs. Exactly. Right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, I now mean, he wants to become an honorary No, nah, I want to come yeah, honorary Chief. No, 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 no. <laughs> we used to beat the brakes <laughs> off the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we dominated That was a Chiefs. long time ago. <laughs> it, it was. It yeah. seemed like it comes. <laughs> we, we shooting bad right now, Skip. We shooting bad in the Bronco. In Bronco country, shooting real bad. Yeah. Skip, I, I just think I'm looking at this. The dude is 200 yards clear passing than everybody else in the league. Mm. He has 10 touchdowns, 
zero interceptions, 72% completion percentage, almost 11 yards per pass attempt. He has 18 big plays. That's 20 yards or more. Here's the stat scale. I, I was looking for a stat. I said, Steve, I need you to get a new crack. I said, Steve, I need you to get on your horse. Because you were failing. I, I said, Steve, I need you to Joking. get on your horse. So, Steve, you know, yeah. he doing that. Help me. Save me. I'm <laughs> drowning. Okay. Big, big, big plays. Okay. 35-yard pass plays. Dak Prescott has five. Tom Brady has three. Patrick Mahomes boy has nine. Mm. So that's more than both of them. Oh. Dak has one touchdown of the 35 yards or more. Mm. Tom Brady has one. Mm. My homeboy got five. Mm. So he got him doubled up. Mm. That's good. And you mean to tell me he's, the, he's not number one? Mm. And in the NFL, do you know that right now, if you look at the research, the average explosive play, 20-plus yards in the passing game, you know, 12-plus yards, depending on who you talk to in the running game, equates to about 2.6 points per explosive. Hmm. He's got how many big time throws in there? Like I don't got know, nine thirty five yards of thirty five yards. How about the twenty yarders? Eighteen. You, like Tom Brady like, got fourteen. I mean, Dak Prescott got thirteen. Like, there's a reason they're undefeated and they're scoring points, and hmm. it's uh, it's it's number fifteen. Hmm. By the way, just a little known stat. You can sweep this under your little rug yeah. over there. I got a rug. I got a rug. Over the last thirteen games, that both. Wait a second, wait a second, that both Dak Prescott and Patrick Mahomes have played. They both played over these last 13. The air distance, that's, that's how far the pass traveled in the air. Dak has averaged 9.7 yards per pass to 9.2 for Patrick Mahomes. So just for the record, my quarterback over the last 13 games in which he's 11-2 and two, is throwing it a little farther than Patrick that's Mahomes. Not, that's, not, that's not what they yeah. say they graded on. Okay. They say they graded on okay. three Let's games. Let's get back to grading because okay. this man to my left, he, he breaks down a lot. Yes, he does. Am I right about that? You're correct. That's what pro football lives for is breaking down throws because they can't care about the the situation. That's QBR. QBR takes into account what was the situation, what was the down and distance. And my homeboy's higher than Brady's. Okay, so what's that? My homeboy's higher than Brady's. Number one is Dak. Prescott in that he leads in QBR but all pro football focus is doing in this and they admit it is a small sample size but they can't take in situation into consideration all they're doing is taking throw for throw for throw they're grading the throw was it a good throw was it a bad throw was it a careless throw and they're simply concluding that Patrick Mahomes has created more careless plays, far more careless plays than Dak or especially Tom Brady. They say Tom Brady has created zero careless plays. Can't talk about the quality of the opponent, but it's just so far on, on the plays he's executed, the balls he's thrown, careless down to zero. Because here's the thing, okay. and this is where the argument is flawed. Mm-hmm. Pat Mahomes can make throws. Tom Brady can't dream of making. Okay. Dak all Prescott right. can't dream of making. But they're, so they're just they, saying that's how they rank but see, off see, throws. But what they call a bad throw is not a bad throw for them right. or him. Okay. All right. I told you before the year, he's in danger of becoming a little bit of a caricature of no, himself because he's like a globetrotter playing quarterback. And his coach will give him no tough love because his coach wants to win MVPs as well as Super Bowls. He likes it too. He can, Andy Reid thinks he won last year's MVP, that it was 50% him and 50% young quarterback. So in this case, they're saying three times already in three games, he's thrown balls that could have, if not should have been, picked because they hit the hands of defenders before they hit the hands of his uh, receivers. And twice this year, he has fumbled the football that could or should have been recovered by the opposition, recovered by him, by his team. Right. So, so again, that's five negative plays that Brady has zero of, so that's how he's fallen but that, to six. But, Skip, it happens. This, that, that pass, you remember that pass that Tom Brady threw in, in, against Atlanta? Mm-hmm. And the guy, the defender, tipped it, but Edelman ended up catching it. It should have been intercepted. Mm. Uh, we don't deal with, in, we don't, in, in sports, we don't deal with should have or okay. could have the, the you're, result. You're just arguing with their concept here. No, their no, concept no, con- is their concept. Well, Skip, that's you, how but, they do uh, it. No, but Skip Bates, mm-hmm. what I used to do, I used to watch mm-hmm. tape. You know, I didn't do the eye test. Mm-hmm. I didn't watch, you know, TV. TV copy because you get, mm-hmm. you know, TV copy would ruin you mm-hmm. because you watch TV and you listen to the sound and yeah. you listen to everybody talk about it like, I mean, I'm like, I, I don't know how we're going to score on this team. Mm-hmm. I don't know how, I, I, man, I don't even want to show up. But then, you know, I, still, I stopped, stopped listening to it. But mm-hmm. Skip Bader say, well, Shannon, you're not playing anymore. You don't need it. You know, your eye tells What did your eyes tell you? Mm-hmm. What did your eyes tell you? Mm-hmm. When you watch Patrick Mahomes, boy, you watch him play, you watch him throw Skip, I don't care what anybody – Skip, I, Tom Brady got those rings. He got all that. 
But he ain't playing better than 15 in KC. Mm. No one is. I I'll take Brady any day or any night over Patrick Mahomes, okay, and I will can, beat you. Skip, I will you can, beat skip, you with okay, him. Fine, he skip, just makes skip, all the throws skip, you have to make skip, when you have skip. to make them. That, that's, that's all he's that, done. That's okay. He's done it for 20 years. You can say, I want to take him based on his resume. Yep. But he's not playing better. You can say, okay, I want him because what he's done and what I believe he can do. Uh, all but he that can do is better. play his schedule, and he's beaten who he was supposed to be. Okay, what, what, he shredded them. Here, here, but listen, I'm, I'm not even going to sit here and argue that Brady's not great or that Dak isn't playing great. Mm. <laughs> but but I, what I'm telling you is to say that Patrick Mahomes is sixth is mm. ridiculous. We, we've got the George Michael careless whisper. Uh, rating right, like it could have been a care, could have could have been an interception. Boy, he threw that into a but tight a window. Touchdown. Yeah, he threw that into a tight window. You don't want to mm. like he okay. does things like he does things, and and Shannon is 100% right on this. He does things that other quarterbacks can't do, and he okay. does them consistently. And so, D does I mean, that equate to winning championships? Yes. Mm. Did Brett Favre win a championship? Mm. Yes or no? He did. So you can win with that style. Mm. Okay. All I know is all that carelessness you talked mm. about, how many interceptions does he have? Mm. How many? Yep. None. Okay. None. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. and Dak is real careful with the ball. How many Dak got, Skip? He's got one. Uh, no, 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 I got two. Two. Shouldn't have had the no, one. No, no, no. You go. There you go. My license for me shouldn't have the one. His receiver no, no, no. got both ends no, 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 on the ball. No, no, no. He's got true, one. Still... You see, I have a grading system <laughs> that I can fall back on. No, Skip, look here. This guy right here, Skip, is on another level. We, hey, okay, he's he on got... another level. Does that mean he's going to win championships? I got to see it to okay. believe it. Okay. I got to see it. It did what? It did what? Because what's going to happen, he's in danger of getting to another AFC championship. So is that going to win a championship? Yeah. Well, you got to see it to believe it. He hasn't won. What does he want? You got me What does he want? Okay. Hey, that's what he got a, he, he got just ordered got him a new car. Hmm. Mr. 55K. Really? That's what they call him in Kansas City. Really? Mr. 55K. They call him. That's what they, they call him. I don't think hmm. they call him. Mr. 50, 50 to 5,000 yards. Book it in. Really? About to get another not one. Not a bad name. Write it down, Skip. You heard that it here does first. does not equate to winning championship. He going to win. Okay. We'll see. I say he's going to make one bad throw in one big game that will cost them this year. And they're not going to beat that team in Foxborough. And obviously, it's playing better defense than it has for a long they time. They play great defense. Yeah. And he hit them up for 800 yards and eight mm. touchdowns. Mm. That's what he did against that defense. Mm. Remember, Skip, did you remember yeah. what he did? I, I just remember overtime in the AFC Championship game helped. How is that his fault? He didn't touch the ball. Mark, have you ever seen a quarterback convert in a big game three straight third and Yeah, I watched John Elway row, do it. Third and ten, third and ten in, in a championship game? Yeah, no, on no. the road. On the road right. in the dog pound. Mm. You remember, Skip, he went 98 yards. Were you the there? Drive. Were you there? You asked me, did I see it? Yeah. I saw it. I saw it on TV. <laughs> mm. I know I know one thing. Third yeah. down and seven, they said, get open an AFC championship to that guy right yeah. there. Okay. And, I'll uh, give you that. And we went to a Super Bowl. Was it three straight third and sevens? No, we I did don't one. Think so. just one okay. we, but we don't need three straight. Yeah. We, we just one. need one. Yeah. That's, That's all we need to win. Well, Tom Brady's throwing to three guys from South. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, so now, hold on. That guy from Southie <laughs> yeah. is is uh, one the MVP. Wait, yeah. wait. I mean, Patrick Mahomes. I'm, I'm looking at number eleven and number seventeen. I'm hey. looking, but a guy, I'm studying film. I don't listen to TV cop. I'm like, I don't know who that is. I don't hey, know who that is. And I don't know who I look that up is. Eleven is getting behind somebody. Yeah. Every, every, time, every time you look God. at it, yeah. Wow. And heart and seventeen. Oh. Uh, uh, hold on. They need to factor in. He's doing that out with Eric Fisher. His starting left tackle. He's doing that up without Tyreek Hill, I the best deep threat. So, can we get some points for that? What y'all, okay. oh, 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 pro football. Oh. They, they don't do that. They're grading throws. That's all they're doing. But grading they, but, throws. But hold on. They grading on what they think he might happen. This should have happened. Well, we should have Eric Fisher. We should have Tyreek Hill. Okay. And what would his numbers be? Mm. I got Mr. New 55K, what I, they call him. I got him. New England to win it all. Who you got, Shane? You know who I got. Yeah. Who? They're taking y'all down this year. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm not a y'all. I'm just a brother. That ain't y'all, y'all. You with them. Not a y'all You with them. I, I you, hey, you got to get some of this blowback to me. <laughs> you right. right. I, I got a quarterback ranked number one who's 42 years of age and seems to be getting better. He's 42 going on 24. You like that? He getting that, but that's the thing, though, Skip. He getting better. He ain't better playing better than that guy right now. Mm. Well, it's a long season, isn't it? It is a long season. There are a lot season. of big games coming up, including that guy visiting that guy. That's what we right? like to do. 
That's yeah. what we do. See, that's what we used to do. When we okay. sing and I play together, mm -hmm. we go to your house. We go to your house, eat your up. food. Put your feet up on, yeah, right I'm on really, the coffee table. That's how we do it now? Ain't say nothing. Yeah. Don't say thank you for going to your fridge and eat your food. Don't say nothing. And huh. just leave. Really? Yeah. I, I, I'll take right now, that game at Foxborough, <laughs> huh? I'll take five cases on New England right now. Give me the points. take it? Give me the points. No points. No, no, no. I gave no, you points point last year. I gave you points last year. You got the greatest quarterback in the history of football. No, 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 no. You Nobody do. has ever you thrown do. it like this guy. I just heard from two. No, you got the greatest. You got the greatest. And I gave you points last year, so I want them back. Oh, There's so please. much that could change. I, come on. I want them back. I want come my on. points back. You, you just told me we've never seen anything like this guy. No, we haven't. Okay, well then, you got it. Five cases. I'll take poor, pitiful New England. And the, 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 with, with the forty-two year old. I, I want to see. Let, let me see if we get some players back. Eric yeah. Fisher. Let me you see. You just told me the forty-two year old can't even dream of being in this guy's league. No, 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 no. I right? said he can't dream of making the throws. Some okay. of the throws he made. All right. And I told you, I'll take my guy at 42. Okay, we'll go. We, we, we Five we, cases we right plenty, now. I'll take it. We got plenty of time. I'll take you 10 cases. This, we, got, we got plenty of time. <laughs> no, I just, time. I just don't think Patrick should be at six. That's okay. all. I mean, that's that to me is ridiculous. So far, six, says pro football. We're going to leave it at I that. I believe in pro football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You do now. That's my favorite part. Thank you for joining us today, yeah. Mark. No mercy. NFL.com asked its analysts who would be the best first or second year quarterback to start a franchise with. There are currently 10 starting quarterbacks in their rookie or sophomore year. And while number one overall picks, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray have gotten a lot of buzz, Lamar Jackson and Daniel Jones were actually the players most chosen by the panel. So the question is to you now, Shannon, which first or second year QB would you build a franchise around? I agree with the panel. I would take Lamar Jackson because, mm. Skip, I look at the improvement that he made from year one to year two. Mm. He's completing 5% higher as completion percentage, 1.5 yard more throw, and 128 more yards a game. Skip, he's almost averaging 28, I mean, um, 290 yards passing the game. No one thought that was going to be possible. Mm. And he went, took his QBR, and this is like he said, it's early. He went from 28th, he's fourth in QBR right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. And <clears throat> I think the thing is, is that at the end of the day, when you look at Lamar Jackson, and, and this is what I went back to, I look at Lamar, when you look at Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield, they won Heisman Trophy, but they had outstanding players. The best offensive line in college, Hollywood Brown, C.D. Lamb, mm -hmm. they had outstanding running backs. I look at Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson didn't have that, and he was outstanding. So I believe if you're starting from scratch and you're going to start everything from scratch, which means your offensive line, your receivers, mm -hmm. I'm going to take Lamar Jackson because I believe he can do more with less mm. than these other guys can. Mm. Skip, he's been, he's been unbelievable. Mm. And I love the fact that the way he's improved, there's even, and that's early, no way that I think he can improve like this. Not this much, Skip. Mm. He, he, I mean, he can, the ball comes out of his hand, it jumps out of his hand. He, 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 he looks like a, he looks like a quarterback now. Mm. Last year, he looked like a running back playing the quarterback position. Mm. He looked almost like a wildcat guy. Now he looks like a quarterback. Mm. Okay, he drops back. To, I'm like, now when they throw him the ball, Skip, I'm like, he ain't going to run. Mm. Last year when they were snapping the ball, I was like, he's going to take off. Mm. Now he, he's throwing the ball. He's reading the field. He has Andrews, Hollywood Brown. Mm. He has a nice running game with Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram has been unbelievable. Mm. I would take Lamar Jackson. Mm. Really? What happened to your new guy, Shake and Bake? Back on uh, what happened? <laughs> all, all I've heard yeah. for the last, what, four or five months on this show? Oh, it's Baker Mayfield. Love you some Baker. Yeah. You tried to steal my thunder. Mm -hmm. You preempted me. You said, no, he's my guy. Yeah. When it was never your guy, it was <laughs> my guy. So now you're off that bandwagon onto this one? You asked me that. Hold on. Jenny asked me a question. I yeah. And I said, I want Lamar Jackson. Okay. Now, if you want Baker, you're plumb welcome to have him. Well, what do you uh, want? as they say, I'm never flip skip. That's what I am. <laughs> oh, you never flip skip? No, they that actually call me drip Bayless on social <laughs> media now. But that's a whole other story for drip Friday. Bayless. That's for Friday. Yeah, we've seen it. <sighs> yeah, but back to this. I dug in on Baker Mayfield before the draft, and I am not backing off. You dug in on Cala too. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I, always, I told you, I always thought Baker could be a little better than Kyler, even though it's real close between those two. And I'm not writing Kyler off, but right now, from what I've seen so far, okay. and Kyler's very early, I know I've seen a lot of Lamar now. I've got a pretty good book on him. Mm -hmm. I, I got a pretty good feel. And I really like him, and I liked him before the draft. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just afraid he's not going to be quite accurate enough to be the guy I would build the whole franchise. Now we're going all the way to the top, right? Yeah. You're going to build your franchise, your whole future, you're going to build on that guy yep. instead of Baker Mayfield. Mm -hmm. And I told you before the draft, I just love what he is made of. Mm -hmm. And I know he has really struggled. He's gotten odell this year, and, and he's kind of gone to Odell hell, if you will. And I can't defend anything about the way he played in the preseason or really in the first, well, two of the three games. They did go win at the Jets, yeah. right? Okay, and he was pretty good in that game. But the point is, he's still made of the right stuff. I still love his football IQ and his moxie, and I still love his j just his spit-in-your-eye competitive fire that he's got in his belly and he will compete with you and and I, I just love the way he plays quarterback and I still do I loved it at, at Oklahoma and I still love to watch him yeah. now and again we're overreacting we're leaping to new conclusions off one or two games and again they went up against what could be the best defense in pro football in the Rams defense okay what about the Titans yeah Okay. Well, but, uh, again, hold on. Got, but don't, don't you. Shell shot. So at, at yeah. some point in time, okay, you're so going to have to play good defenses. You, you have jumped completely off the bandwagon <laughs> off two games. Well, you have. Oh, my goodness. Am I Skip. right? No, I have to skip. Why you do that? Because you did it. Okay, I can't like Lamar, so I got to. Yeah, you can like him. Okay, I like Lamar, and I want to start my franchise with Lamar. Okay. Oh, no, you got you got shake and bake, and I'm going to beat okay. you. Okay, and, and I'm going to remind you that. Baker cannot be protected now. What did they do in the offseason that quietly went sort of under-publicized? Well, they traded the guard away. He's Kevin like, Zeitler yeah. goes to the Giants, yeah. right? Yeah. And Olivia Vernon and, and, comes back. And, and, okay. and Jabril Peppers yeah. also. Okay. And so there's that's kind of tied to the Odell mm -hmm. move. But whatever. Mm -hmm. is they, they traded their best offensive line. Yes. And now he's ironically protecting Daniel Jones. Yep. Baker took a shot at and it. And Daniel Jones said, I can't believe they took that joke at number one. Uh, uh. That one old DJ, old DJ said. That's oh, what yeah, they call him. Yeah, yeah. But then they? they call him DJ. Yeah, Danny Dimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So the point yeah. is, I'm not going to jump ship on Baker Mayfield just yet or at all because mm -hmm. I believe in him. And I be a lot of this is situational. What are you surrounded with? Yeah. And he's in a tough spot right now because okay. he's got a, a head coach who's basically admitting, but, yeah, I screwed up. I no, but yeah. I ain't looking at that. Yeah. We're starting a franchise from scratch. I'll take Every, everything's from scratch. It's like yeah. we're making biscuits. Your boy makes some butter milk biscuits. Really? Oh, yeah. That's that what they call you, boys. You ain't know that? They, they call, call you, you boy what? Buddy Crocker. Buddy Crocker. Buddy Lee mm. Crocker, to be correct. Really? I can make, yeah, I can make biscuits, pancakes, hmm. friend, all that from scratch. Mm. I wouldn't know that. I would like to yep. try. Damn. Oh, well, Come in the kitchen, make people think you're snapping your finger, lips really? popping. Huh. Yeah, lips popping, you think people snapping their fingers. I, I have no way to lips disapprove popping. that, right? Yeah. <laughs> all of Skip. Yeah. Give me a look, Skip. <laughs> you have to be impressed with a guy. You yep. saw what he looked like throwing the football last mm -hmm. year. You see, and it, like you said, it is a small sample size, but you can see the big improvement. Mm -hmm. And you can I see, can. And, I agree. And he's like, when they told him what he had done, a perfect QBR rating, he's like, not bad for a running back. I agree. So something burns well, I like inside him. He, yeah, something I burns inside of him. Yeah, I just and he like played with he played with the Ravens. Okay. Well, what did you see at Kansas City? I, I saw a quarterback who had 21 incomplete passes, yeah. and you just it's too many. Hey, well, what about the guy that you saw the year, the year before? That went down there and had him down, and it took two fourth down. Mm -hmm. It took my homeboy, who's the best quarterback in football right now, on a fourth and ten to hit Tyreek, and then a fourth and three to uh, uh, Williams. Hmm. Well, what do we see from Baker Mayfield last year? He took over in week four. He actually had one really great sort of cameo appearance where he the he well he fit came the jet, at the Jets, the Jets right? Mm -hmm. and that's where it started. That's where right. the bonfire started. Right. But he started in week four, and from then on, pro football focus, and we talked about rankings, they ranked him the ninth best quarterback in the NFL off the rest of his starts. Yeah. They went six and seven with, with him as a starter. Right. And I just remember these games, 397 at Houston, 376 at Baltimore, 342 against Baltimore in a game they won at home in overtime. And taking all them L. Okay. Well, he okay. Was six L. and seven. And, hey, what and again, Lamar? What, remember Lamar came in? He went seven and two. Okay. Got his team into the playoffs. Who had the better team? Baltimore did. Okay. Well, Joe Flacco wasn't doing okay. that with that team. Well, let's see what John Dorsey can what, – what strings he keeps pulling here because I still trust him also. And all I know is that uh, you, Baker had four, four games of three touchdowns or more, and he had four at Cincinnati. And, and, and That's if, a lot. And man. so if, if, like, okay, we, we're starting a team from scratch, and so mm -hmm. I, I just – I threw everything else out. But if we want to say, okay, each team is – okay, Baker's going to be in Cleveland and Lamar – 
You actually think I'm going to take somebody, I'm going to take Jimmy Haslam and John Dorsey and, and Freddie I'll over John Steve Bashotti? I'll take John Dorsey. Eric DaCosta and really? John Harbaugh? Is really? that what you think? Yep. Because they're about to be on their fourth head coach. Baker okay. might pay for his fourth coach in two years. I thought you loved Baker Mayfield. I do. Skip. And you see one Sunday night game Skip. and you're Skip. off the bandwagon. No, no. I, well, in fact, you're about to get run over oh, by the hold bandwagon. Hold on, hold on. Did I not see the Tennessee Titans? Did that happen? Okay. No, I'm talking about Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Cleveland, Skip. Mm -hmm. Cleveland. Okay. So you're done with Baker Mayfield. No. I want to get that on oh, the Oh, my goodness. You, yeah. No. I think no. you're no. done. It's no. I, and I said, I said, Skip, look. I said from the start, I undervalued. Mm. I should have listened to Ozzy yep. because he said this kid is throwing the ball. He's like, boy, he's going to surprise some people. And boy, has he surprised some people. Yeah. He's like, we're going be be to be better than people think. Mm -hmm. And they got me. Baltimore is going to be better than I thought. Mm. But I tell you who's not going to be better than people thought. Mm. The team in black and gold. Okay, but you picked the Browns I did. to win the division. I did. Right? I did. You sticking by that? Skip, I've been wrong before. Not often. It's not very often. <laughs> not very often could've, that I'm wrong. Oh, Jay Sharp. Could have fooled me. They call me Sharp Adamas. Do they? Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't noticed that. Yeah, they did. Yeah, the they call day. me Sharp Adamas. Oh, yeah. Uh, Boy, uh, I, I'm mean in that kitchen. Uh, yeah. I'm mean in that kitchen. Uh, oh, man. Why do you never bring Collard greens and turkey necks. Mmm, cornbread, the blueberry cornbread, mm. bogged down the oh, hall, man. Mm. I, I wouldn't know anything about... Do you about, have any cornbread if you were uh, given the choice? I, I, I wouldn't know anything about cooking. I just come from a long line of the best, some of the best... But you not. I don't know what you come from. That is I don't know what you come from. I don't know what you come from. You come from a long line of microwave products. Uh, cooks. Just me? Yeah. I uh, can't microwave. What about Rick Bayless? Yeah, what about I, I know. Bro, Chef of the year, that's all. That, I love. That's that's restaurant of the year, that's all. Big deal. Oh, so now you yeah. ride coattails. Well, now you ride. Well, oh, now you ride Rick. No, coattails. he's my little brother. Okay, but I'm saying yeah. you ride his coattails. He's riding. No, no, he ain't ride no coattails. <laughs> he ain't ride no coattails. Yeah. He got a restaurant like have like five people in there. Yeah. He booked up for the next seven years. Yeah, he's yeah. Good. Everybody in my family could cook, and I just said I'm gonna blaze a new trail. <laughs> new hold trail. On, I, hold one on, day I'm gonna conquer Shannon Sharp. First of all, hold every on, day. Hold on. Hold on. You're the oldest. How they come after you? Hmm. And you talk about you gonna conquer a new trail? They hmm. they came after you. Well, my dad cooked. He owned a little barbecue joint, yeah. you know? So then, he got up every morning at 5 o'clock to cook ribs. You couldn't cook. Okay? Just I, say, I just, didn't want to cook. No, no, I hated no, it. No, just say you couldn't. Yeah. Just say, Shannon, I could. You're right, yeah. Shannon. He, just say, Shannon, you're right. I he couldn't. He forced me to do preparation every morning. Okay. I had to go up with him at 5 o'clock. I nearly cut this finger off. I got this big scar. What the hell you think I do? Chopping every, hold on. green peppers. Hold on. Tell green me, peppers. what the hell you think I do every day? Yeah. Uh, Preparation every day mm. to come in here to beat you down. That's what the commercial said. Yeah, I do every day right? to beat All you down. Mm. And it could every day. No mercy. According to data from Sportsline, the Patriots have the league's best chance to go undefeated at 2.6%. The Chiefs and the Rams had the second best odds at 0.5% chance to win the remainder of their game. So, Shannon, do you agree that the Pats have the best chance to go undefeated? I don't believe anybody is going undefeated, mm. but I do believe that if there's someone <laughs> is going to do it, it would be if them. Mm. Um, I think that they have, <laughs> look what's in their division. <laughs> Miami. Mm. Jets. Mm. Keep going. And then the next four, this is the next, the next four games for the Patriots. They got the Bills, Washington, Jets, I mean Giants, Jets. Mm. That's 7-0 right there. Okay. Only nine games left. Hmm. But my homeboy put a stop to that. Yep, December the 8th. The Chiefs, I mean, look at their schedule. Packers, Vikings, two versus the Chargers at New England, at Chicago. Hmm. So that's why my homeboy going to win the MVP. Because hmm. he's going to carve them up. <laughs> he's going to make all these games right here, skip all the Packers, Vikings, defense. They both defense, defense. New England defense, Chicago. Hmm. He's going to take his face. Hmm. He's going to take his face, Gibbons. So you're predicting the Chiefs <laughs> are going to go unbeaten? No, he's going to carve them up, though. Call them up, but they're going to take the L. Oh, that's, that's what. Hey, hold on. You should love. You should. That, you should. I should be applauded. Huh. So remember, Tom Brady did at the Super Bowl. Called them up. Five hundred and five. Playoff record. Your playoff record. Not a Super Bowl record. An all-time playoff. Yeah. Record. You know how long it took me to put up five hundred L's in my restaurant, Jenny? Mm. I had five hundred and five L's. Took me all night. Mm. Did it. But I wait. They wait for him when he came in. They was out there. He's like so sad. So now you're predicting Kansas City is going to win at New England. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are. Yeah. Okay. My bet stands. I'll take five cases on New England right now. 
Well, you just predicted it. Uh, this not, that, that you wasn't said the, your homeboy is going to put a stop to it. Which side of mouth are you speaking out of a, now? Is can, is a, I'm speaking out of the front of my mouth. Is New England going undefeated? Yes. Okay. I think they got this because I agree it's a very easy schedule. That's not what you said. You said it's going to be 13-3. and three. No. Well, I, I mean, I just look at You're the, make the schedule is, is breaking – Toward them, you know, what you mean breaking? They always had them. They always had Miami twice. Okay. They always had the Jets twice, Buffalo okay. twice. All right. Yeah. So I start looking at this stretch in here, and the, the tough stretch starts with the Browns do visit Foxborough. No, do I think? no, no. Browns. But then they go to Baltimore. Is that a tricky game for them? Yes. Because well, you got the okay. best player of the first and second year players, Young Lamar Jackson, Jackson right? You, you got Baltimore in that game. I think I'm yeah. taking Tom Brady in that okay. game. Okay. Then my Cowboys go to Foxborough. No. Nah. Oh, no hold on, but the Cowboys no might way. go undefeated. Uh, no. The Cowboys might go undefeated. That. No, I got them at 13-3. and three. So, then uh, they, the Patriots have to go to Houston, and Deshaun always ramps it up for mm-hmm. Tom Brady. So, do I think that'll be a shootout? Yeah, I do. I, I think that'll be a good mm-hmm. game. But Belichick's defense is playing better, so I would give New England the edge there. And then, of course, here we go. December the 8th, it's all going to come down to, could it be two undefeated teams? Well, I look at Kansas City right now and their schedule. It's pretty simple, too, except they got a tricky game this Sunday at Detroit. You sure about that one? You sure? Because you have no respect for the Lions. I got respect for them. Uh, Okay. (laughs) But he's going to drive off in a new Ford. Okay. (laughs) At Ford Field, he's going to get them all the Fords he won't. November 10th and 18th. These aren't exactly gimme games at Tennessee and at the Chargers. Gimme games? No. Nope. Okay. But y'all don't play those. Because okay. you remember what the Titans did to you guys last mm-hmm. year in New England. I do. Put, put and they're them. capable of rising up on any given Sunday, mm-hmm. and they will just throttle you because their defense is still really good. Very good. Right? But their quarterback is not he very, is very not good. He is not very good. So, if if he can have the rare good day. Yeah, like he had against rare. Dallas. Yeah, he had a rare good day. He did. He was unconscious that night. No way I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. And <laughs> my would. team fell to 3-5 and five on the way to 10-6 and six in the division championship. Right? Okay, so to me, it's going to come down for New England to that one big game on December the 8th. And I just, I got New England in that game. And you know why? Our old friends at Pro Football Focus. Oh, oh your know, best friends now. Yeah. They Things also ranked contenders and pretenders in another piece that they did that posted yesterday. And why Kansas City fans should be concerned. Shannon Sharp, you're a Kansas City fan. No, I'm not. Their secondary looks to be an issue once again. I think Skip, hold up. on. Up, 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 up. Defense is a little better, Skip, but no. secondary hold is on. torchable. No, no, Skip, hold on. I said that. I said that's why they should give up two first rounds for Jalen Ramsey. Mm. I was ahead of this before they wrote the article. Mm. I said this. Looks like he's staying in Jacksonville. Hmm. No, stay out sick. He's sick. Yeah. I think oh, he's coming back. Sick. That's what they said. Yeah. I think he's going to practice. Yes. Today. I said that, Skip. I, I, I watched them. No, yes, they're, tor- they're torturable. No Chiefs cornerback or safety on this roster has produced a pro football focus coverage grade of 70 or higher, which is average. Average, yes. Okay. Yeah, they're not good. Okay. So versus number 12 in Foxborough, what could happen again? You like your chances? It's it's why I just I just I, hope they can get better. I just yeah, hope they can get better. Okay. I like Tom Brady in that game. I just hope they get so, better, Jimmy. That's that's all I can do. Okay. That's all I can do. So should Good New plan. England be ranked, you know, in, on just percentage points higher in, in They are. Yeah. Two point six is better yeah. than zero point five. Thank you very much. So yes, they should be ranked higher and they will be ranked higher. And I could see them get on a roll, especially if one Rob Gronkowski returns about. Oh, my goodness. How about, how about November back. 3rd, the first game in November, Gronk which is isn't at Baltimore? coming back. Yep, I think he's coming back. I don't no. think And they so. need him. They need him back. I don't think Getting he's Getting Nikhil coming back. Harry going after eight games, and all of a sudden, you'll start to have a little bit of firepower. Gronk will be back for the November 3rd game at Baltimore. Got it. All I know, my homeboy. Yep. My homeboy, yeah. Mr. 55K, ain't slowing mm-hmm. down for no one. Okay. Well, he's going to get slowed down on the night of December 8th in Foxborough. He's going to throw for, I yeah. bet he throw for 350 and three at least. Really? Against yeah. Belichick's it's defense? It's, it's much better. And talk about the back end of that defense. It's playing he at it the up. highest level. He let it up. It's better. Oh, and Rick will be back by the end. Yeah. Huh. Tyreek Hill will be back. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Marvin I got, Robinson. I got Belichick's defense. Miko Harmon. Yeah. Okay. You got all those weapons. Killer Trav. Yep. 
Hmm. Joe Juan Williams from Vanderbilt University drafted in the second round by Bill Belichick. Love those Vandy guys. Yep. Did y'all get one? Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Y'all about to y'all get Joe Burrow drafted in the first round. Yeah. He just hung 66 on you. Yep. Well, uh, Joe Juan's gone. A LSU yep. record. Yep. You know how many quarterbacks come out of LSU? They've been playing football a long, long time. Would you believe that we hung almost 40 points on LSU's defense? Mm. They don't you play, like that? LSU known for offense uh, now. Oh, they it's they an all they offense. They done went to the spread. They just throw really? the ball all over <laughs> the field now. Little, poor little old Vanderbilt almost scored oh, 40. Is, oh, that is, that poor little uh, Vanderbilt. Yeah. They let y'all score because they wanted to get the ball back. Huh. They wanted to get the ball back. Huh, interesting. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Joe hung 60, 66. I think I'd have quit. I ain't, right. I ain't no way somebody going to hang 66 on me. He might hang 50 on St. Nick. I, right. What do they two are gonna do? Uh, if Vanderbilt put forty on you, good question. What Saint Nick? What on two? That's a good OTT. question. Oh, TT. I hope. I hope it's. I hope he hangs fifty on yeah. me. Cause that means TT gonna play in the fourth quarter. Yeah. And you know what that means? Mm. No, what, no, that about eight tubs. Wonder what Jalen Hurts will do to Texas Tech. I Saturday. wonder. Yeah, I'm yeah, really wonder. looking forward. to I wonder to who it. will be there. You know, Skip. Uh, I uh, talked uh, to him the other night on the phone. Did you or just Jalen Hurts? Impressive. Up. Ah. Here we go. I said he comes up yep. a lot on this show. He's yeah. been good to know. He's a grown man playing quarterback. I was yeah, very yeah, impressed. Yeah. So what, yeah. was who very who impressed. you think going to hide in the draft? Mm. Tua or uh, Hurts? I think Tua will. Oh, why, why? He's the better college wait. player. I'll take Jalen Hurts. Uh, we got some Tua. Good stories yeah. He's going to win the Heisman. Jalen Hurts. No mercy. All right, time for our final topic of the day. Jack Prescott felt pretty comfortable on the field against the Dolphins on Sunday in the Cowboys' blowout win. Dak was mic'd up and was caught thinking about a post-game snack in the huddle. Huh. Take a listen. Skip the flank right stack, 32 Sam, alert X foot. Oh, spicy nuggets are back. I might have to stop on the way home. <laughs> I had listened to it so many times. Skip, do you have a problem with that? <gasps> yes, Skip. Before I answer that question, do you hear the first word in the play call? It's Skip. I think they named a play after me. No, Is that did. possible? They didn't. No. Oh, wow. Probably not possible because huh. what the reason I don't have a problem with this is it wasn't an actual huddle. It seems like he was just talking during a TV timeout mm -hmm. because everybody's just standing around waiting to come back. Mm -hmm. It's not like there's urgency if he's ducked into the huddle to call the play and they're about to break and go to the line of mm -hmm. scrimmage, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're all just standing and it's clear Dak just heard over the PA system an advertisement <laughs> for spicy nuggets. So he, I, I think he's actually d giving them an alert play like, like a check with me kind of option mm -hmm before he calls the real play oh. because the whole play call so, was so when they think got nothing to do with this it, it's like skip to flank right stack 32 sound alert x foot so there's going to be a sound alert like it's a check with me yeah. so he's telling them this is the option play so i just want okay. to know i just yeah. want to know is any is, is any way that receiving compensation from Wendy's? a simple no <laughs> or a simple yes is what i'm asking from skip no i don't think that not for that do you Maybe think he's now. because he thinks he's mic'd up? He's advertising for Wendy's. Again, I would have a problem if he had ducked into the huddle and called a play on the fly. I would have with a, the clock. You ticking. should have a problem that is in a game okay. and he's standing around and he's thinking about his pockets. Huh. He's thinking about making money. You think he is? I think he just likes spicy nuggets. I don't think that one's on his yeah. eight endorsements. I, oh, he I'm likes spicy it. nuggets, really? Am I missing he, that he's one? only got like twelve endorsements. I played fourteen years and not one time was I ever thinking about. It. You know what? Never once have you heard something over the PA and you're uh. playing the Dolphins. Uh. No, you thinking uh. really? about no thinking about no spicy nuggets. I was uh. thinking about no burgers. I wouldn't yeah. think about anything. I ain't eat that stuff back then. Oh, but now you do. No, sometimes. Okay. Maybe. Every once in a while. <laughs> well, I don't have a problem with this. Of course thing. not. You don't have a problem surprise, with anything. Surprise. That's why it's no Thanks for listening to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm Jenny Taft. Join us again at the same time tomorrow morning, 930 Eastern. We'll see you then. Fox Sports. One of one. one.